This is Majora's Mask, done relatively quickly. Um, we should probably introduce ourselves, just first name, because this is the internet and I don't want to get doxxed. Yeah, I don't want uh, to We got Ben, come into my house. that voice. My, my voice is Spencer. And? And my, my, my voice is Dan. Okay. I'm not Dan. My so, voice, not my is voice Dan. Is Dan. So for context, I got really mad at the Game Grumps being really bad at Wind Waker, so I bought a Wii U. And then, uh, and then I learned one glitch in Wind Waker, and then I learned a lot of them in Majora's Mask, and now we're gonna play this game relatively quickly. A secret and personal journey. Yeah, no. This is personal, guys. Listen, this is deeply personal for me. Journey uh, in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. Listen, I'm just saying, this is a personal journey for all of us, because uh, I spent 500 hours recording this, and then y'all get to watch me. <laughs> so, uh, get strap in, folks. We're going to be here for the next 500 hours. Yes. I edited out most of it. I do No <laughs> food, no drinking. Listen. Just, just here. Just pure alcohol. Um, <laughs> we just have tubs of ethanol, and we're going to watch me. This is a speed demonstration? Um, <laughs> it's our hero. I'm gonna call it a speed demonstration because uh, the Wii U. I play this on the Wii Virtual Console, which is probably the worst possible place to play this game. There's like a half second delay, and like the the control stick is rounded, like the guard, so it makes everything impossible. Anyway, <laughs> it makes everything fun. It does have save states, so this isn't a true run, and I'm not gonna call it a true run because it's also really bad. But we're going for best end, which means I'm going to get a bunch of masks. We'll talk about that later. Who cares? Right now we have to deal with these fairies. The light yeah. and dark fairy. <laughs> Listen, here are two new characters. Names Sweet are dust. Tattletail. It's a good joke because uh, Tattle and Tail are two separate names, but they are one phrase. And uh, Nintendo! How, <laughs> how funny is it? How funny is it? What? How funny do you think it is? I think it's actually the, fucking... The name thing? <laughs> it is the funniest thing in the world. So, one thing about the text boxes, <laughs> the way the text boxes work in this game is that if you can only see them once, they they stay up the entire time and you can't really skip through them, but anything that you could do multiple times, as we all know, this game is a cyclical game, you can play the same three days over and over again, any of those text boxes will speed through. So, this beginning section is like the bane of every speed run. No, our flute. It's an, our flute. it's an ocarina? The flute? The fl I love his flute. <laughs> Link's flute. Moth's flute. Yeah. Um, Skull Kid fucking rocks. Because he's not even playing it. He just like tooting. And then he's like, this is the funniest thing in the world. Good thing this mask has a mouth hole. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Listen. Whoop, I didn't take anything. You're you're not dead. Whoop. He's fine. Listen. I'll take your horse now. <laughs> you love Apana? Oh. What? Apana. Apana. He's pretty sure it's Apana. No, nope. uh, everyone, everyone literally calls it whatever they want, and that's called socialism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call it a pony because that's it's, it's fine. This uh, is my horse socialism. <laughs> this is, uh, we're probably gonna see her one more time after this cutscene, so it's fine. Who cares? Um, Link is just getting all of his bro bones broken, like getting dragged by. Guys, this scene's really important because this scene I think takes place in Hyrule. This oh is yeah, Hyrule? this is the only high roll we see in the game. Oh, I'm it's pretty sure. And misty. There you go. Yeah. Um, rolling away. So rolling is slightly faster than walking, and at this point, I wasn't comfortable enough with the Wii U gamepad to a back walk. That was good. <laughs> it was probably faster just to do two jumps, but I did one because. Uh, but you parkour in your way through this. You didn't even need I to look at any of that. I, uh, they spent a whole year just trying to add flips to. Link's jumps for some reason, and I have no idea why. They are not an ocarina, but they are here, and they are welcome. <laughs> oh god, no. So anyway, here's the transition into Termina, uh, this dream world that the directors refuse to call the dream world for some reason, but it's definitely a dream world. It's just like next to Hyrule. It's not next to, it's like, it is dream high or Hyrule, and we'll like get into it when we actually start seeing shit, but like... We're about to see an inverted Triforce. Like, this is a dream world. I don't even give a shit. I don't care. No point riding a thing like that. But... Hey, stop. Ah, uh, boo hoo. I just thought I had. Oh, listen, come on now. Do you really think you can beat Oh, guys, listen. If you think you can't read it now, just read <laughs> it. 
I got some LSD. Every, every time a text box comes up, I press three buttons in like sequential order, like over and over again, and you just can't read anything. <laughs> so one speeds it up, and one skips the text box, and one starts speeding up the next text box. Well, I'm gonna try for exposition purposes. We don't need exposition. If you're watching this and you haven't played the game, our the fans want to know what's going on. All our fans <laughs> in this first time thing is so, gonna. Um, this is actually terrifying. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Have you ever been lost inside of a uh, bush during fall? Like a bush of leaves? Yeah. Hey, how about I get this? Home. Explain this. If it's a nightmare, how come he doesn't wake up at the end? Yes, Boom. he does. No. Well, did you just ruin the ending? He literally wakes up at the end. What? You beat Majora, and then he opens his eyes, and he wakes up in the same position that he fell off the horse in. Oh. So he just hit his head? This is some Is this a real thing? thing? Oh, he's. I mean, he's in Termina. Like, yeah. he's in Terminal Field, but... So Terminal is real. Term yeah, but it's like this dream world version of Hyrule. Now look at me. Now I've got a big, doofy mouth. And I'm a wood person. <laughs> it's a Deku. So a Deku... Wood person. Like, Deku sucks, for the most part, because he can't do anything, and everyone's racist in Terminal. You, you can, you can so, fly with those flowers. Yeah, but like... <laughs> whoa, whoa, Skokin! Hey, Skokin! You can't really do any damage... And like, ev like I said, everyone's racist and thinks you're a kid, which is even more ageism. Every Wait, you are a kid? Yeah. Deku, even after you become Link again, you can't exit uh, Clock Town with Deku, like, without glitching. So like, <laughs> he's just the most nerfed. Also, look at that. Whoa! Like, literally the first bushes you meet in Terminal Move. Like, <laughs> it's so cool. You I should, love it. You should uh, put yourself out there to cut people's lawns. <laughs> Cut all that grass real quick. Oh. Get a lot of money. What are you doing trying to save grass? Deku is the best at cutting grass until you get Goron, who's just better at cutting grass. Oh, yeah. Like, Deku has like two uses in the, the entire game, mm. and one of them, like two of them, you can skip. That's all. That's right. You can just not use Deku. That's a lie. I don't know where I am. Listen. Yeah, this fairy just beat him up, and now the fairy is like, I'm sorry, but help me. And he's just like, fuck it, I guess. When you flew, when you flew with the flowers in this game, the camera angle always like tripped me out. It is not great. Nope. And it's also really hard to get in those <laughs> when you're going fast. Um, you're supposed to go over to the left, but you can just fly across easy. It's <laughs> absolutely no reason. Um, here, here's a story thing that we're not mm -hmm. going to talk to. No, we're, not gonna, we're just going to ignore this nice little plant. Oh, I did talk. If it's shit. it looks like. He looks like you. <laughs> it's a mini. It's a mini Deku tree. Whoa. It's a, it's Whoa. That LSD is not wearing off. Well, listen. This is just the. uh... It's the say it. Oh man. The George Mask fucking loves motion blur for some reason. It makes you it so. <laughs> and it's just great. It 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 lets you know when it's. Serious. Oh, so here's a skip I can't do on the Wii U version because it's impossible to pause buffer. Um, if you pause buffer frame perfectly, you can skip this cutscene. Because in this so game, you the door before it takes see. two frames for a uh, cutscene to start. So if you move frame by frame and pause every frame, uh, you can get through that. You can open the door before this cutscene happens. But it's impossible for me. So I sell these masks. My back is broken from carrying all of them, <laughs> but I can't stop. <laughs> uh, one time when I was at Kineticon, mm -hmm. there was a person cosplaying the mask man. What do we call him? The happy mask the salesman. The happy mask salesman. Creepy. creepy and I thought their cosplay creepy. was pretty cool and I was like, can I take a picture of your cosplay? And they looked at me so exacerbated and were like, can I just sit down for a fucking second? And I was You're so just... embarrassed. <laughs> Sought after a dude. Yeah. No, seriously. The person was like, well, you didn't want to be having a picture taken. Stop looking so cool. Yeah, stop. Yeah, stop yeah, you were asking for it. <laughs> Listen, that's right. Everyone needs to take pictures of your work. Yeah, guys. 72 hours remaining. We're only, only going to see this one uh, three times? Twice? Three times. Three times. Wow. Which is very... It's actually, like, super close to the 100% anyway. I think they I think they only reset, like, maybe two or three times. You look so sad. 100% you have to do three times. Yeah. He gives me a creep stat mask. You guys have mask. But, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you do need a bomb mask. Because you know that, that playthrough that we watched that was uh, yeah, those the, two the, guys? Those two guys. Yeah, the, the, the like, three cycle, six, uh, six day, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. They do it in two cycles. Yeah. But they, 
Yo, that's they do the Deku cycle and then they do the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, the Deku section, basically the only thing you can do is do it, skip as much time <laughs> as possible. Because there's no real glitches because you have to wait until midnight of the third day to do anything. So, the fastest, there's not a lot you can do to make this go faster. And it kind of is the bane of all speed runs. Like, Whoa, where did you go though? So basically right now we're going to go into the, the inn and get to the grandma and, talk, and have her read a 24 hour story twice to skip to the last day. I see. And then we're gonna do one more skip, and then we're just gonna do all the stuff that we have to. Majority it's really just someone holding a puppet. Oh my god! <laughs> no, it's that fast, like all the time. Whoa! Anytime anything can be skipped, anything you can do more than once, like I said, you can oh, skip oh. through it as fast as that. That's slightly faster than normal, just because it's made to go that fast. You, you need to get a mask in order to hear the whole story and that gives you a heart pace. Wait, you're on the final day now? We are now on the final day? Did she talk that much? Yeah, yeah, she talks 24 hours each of those stories take. Okay, it was a nice visit, Grandma. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Back. thanks, Gma. See you next year. She gets mad at you because you fell asleep. Yeah. No, she says we'll try again some other day, which means immediately. <laughs> um, so now we're going to go over to West Clock Town in order to uh, skip another 6 hours. Uh, 12 hours, actually. Because uh, we only need about like three hours to do everything that we need to do right now. The first cycle is also weird because it goes at like 133 speed, 1.33 speed. Normally. Oh, I love this guy. This guy rocks. Majora's Ma Mask is awesome because you uh, do bank fraud, mm -hmm. and uh, it's great. Like, you want to give me your money? Give me your money, you little tree stump. Is it worth it for you to give this guy two rupees? Yes. It's always worth it. Saving starts at yeah. that first goal. There's a very specific reason I'm doing that, and I don't need to do it. It's just that I had to. Oh, I don't remember him being this creepy. He's a lot creepier in this game. Mostly oh, because he uh, does a dance. And yeah, I don't like that dance. We go the motion blur. <laughs> it's really the serious right now. We love the motion blur. Anyway, we are on the night of the final day. <laughs> <laughs> 12 hours until uh, the Happy Mask Man. Yeah, the Happy Mask Man leaves. Because right now, technically, we oh, don't. God. We don't actually know that the moon's gonna fall. Right now, this t countdown is actually when the Happy Mask Salesman leaves. And you're throwing out a lot of spoilers, and, and I just. It's, you're it's watching a speed run. <laughs> Shut up. So I don't understand how this game works. Yeah. Um, there's three days. Oh. And when does uh, Samus show? Samus shows up in the DLC. <laughs> the, the delish, as I like to call it. Um, Legend of Metroid. So basically, the only thing you have to do in this cycle is to uh, get the magic meter, which is we need to bring this ferry back to North Block Town. Oh. So, as I was saying earlier, with like really the only thing we can do in this game uh, right now is just do it faster, which seems dumb, but. There is a concept in this speedrun which is really interesting of like real time and game time where like events happen at certain times. So you have to like pay attention to the in game time and like you want to minimize loading zones because that'll s that stops the clock. Whoa, you just got a hundred rupees. Right? Yeah, that chest has a hundred rupees and you can only open it up on the night of the third day. But you can only carry 99. You can only currently carry 99. Cause yeah, because your pocket is too small. Yeah. So, oh, that's why you gave the guy mine. So you can get 100 rupees. So, you can, so I can get 99 rupees. Yeah, so I can get more. It does matter. Whoa, you, you so, cheated. Yeah, if you back walk out of that specific soldier, you can get outside to check. It's just like, nope, nope, nope. So this way it's faster because one, it, it has the same amount of loading um, zones in between going to North Clock Town and East Clock Town. It's going to be one going in and then one going out. However, uh, if you go in this way, you skip the cutscene that intros North Clock Town. Ah. So, technically it's faster. Also, uh, the pros don't go and get that rupee chest that I did. They just collect rupees in uh, Hyrule Field, because technically, uh, in Termina Field. Because technically, we still have like three in-game hours to waste. So, uh, I see. Right. so like I was talking about, uh, in-game time matters. More specifically for the Deku cycle, which sucks. So like every every Deku cycle takes like twenty minutes, and every single run starts with this twenty minute section. That's just this. 
How many like, how many young boys do you think had their sexual awakening? <laughs> 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 with, their, with, their, with those pointy boobs and that um, suggestive. I knew a kid. Uh, a kid <laughs> I went to uh, school with who turned out to be gay. Really, really liked these fairies and pretended to be one in second grade. It was awesome. I mean, they are they are. <sighs> They can grant you magic power if you press B. You, we just gotta yeah, learn exactly. how to press B in life. We now have a bar, and if we come back, she'll give us a different prize. But we have to be uh, normal people. Because uh, racism, like yeah, I said. Yeah, no, you're a dirty Deku. This is, a dirty Deku. This game tackles racism more than uh, Detroit Become Human, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's honestly just Wait, Wait, is Detroit's Become Human's whole shtick that it's... Uh, it's about race. Thing. Thing. It's, it's race and also uh, owning people as bad. Which it immediately undermined with uh, this new DLC, which brings back spoilers, brings back like the ultimate mor- moral choice of the game. Yeah, sorry everyone, if you're watching this, fucking for whips. It's, uh, it's spoilers, I don't know. In the description, I'll have a big disclaimer about spoilers for every single game ever. Yeah, not just this game, but spoilers of everything. Okay, so now we're gonna have 101 rupees well, in the day. And that's good because. Because if we get another 99, we're going to get 200, which gives us the big wallet, which we're going to get immediately. And then we can carry more rupees. And then we can carry 200 rupees? This game teaches you about capitalism. It does. <laughs> okay, so if we just, uh... So now you're just going to wait here. <laughs> no, I'm just going to do a uh, cool flip, where I turn around midair and it lets me climb up. Whoa! Normally... Got that heart. Normally you have to get the... you got to get the password for the bomber's clubhouse and then oh. get the moon's tier so you can trade it to the Deku. Is, it and the, same oh. in every, is the password the same in every game? No, it changes with every file. Okay. So the, the, the neat speed thing that they used to do, which I think is banned now, is you start the file and you copy the file over to a different file, you play it to where you get the code, and then you start on the other file. Because once the file is created, it's when the code is, so you don't do the mini, the, the hideout thing. What, which, what, is, what is this dance you're doing? Oh, I'm just wasting time. Oh. So. Okay. If, if I'm ever just doing weird flips or like hopping around, it's just me wasting time. Also, I. Speed. <laughs> this is a speed run because normal speed runs will also wait here. They might actually have a bit more time because you have to wait for the final hour. Like you gotta wait till twelve o'clock. This is the soonest you can get in here. Do they have fireworks for every night? It is it's only like this sneaky. night because the clock tower is open. The festival. The festival has started. This. The other thing about Clock Town is that it's three days before the festival of time, and the clock tower opens for some reason. Well, I like the doors that turn into stairs. Yeah. Also, if you're like right up against that door, sometimes you don't. There's a uh, uh, tattle. I skipped it. So if you're not right up against the door, um, tattle will be like, "Hey, we gotta get up. The tower's open." There's just <laughs> a random text box that tells you what to do, and like, Ooh. yeah. So Ooh. if you're right up against the door, you'll skip that. Anyway, uh, here's a really weird cutscene where half this dialogue can be skipped really quickly and half of it can't. <laughs> Because everything that Skull Kid and uh, Tail will say right here, you can see them all, every time you come up here. So, like, yeah, you can see that text box goes, but you have to see that get typed out. Stupid fairy. That significantly Leave goes down. Yeah. All those text boxes significantly go down after this. Like, once we're in the actual game, most things can be skipped. It's really only like story beats, which are the most of the right there. Yo, the moon rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna say this: the moon rocks. I love the moon. It is such a weird aesthetic to have. Uh-huh. Well, it's so intimidating. The big it's mouth. Is you. Anyway, so uh, now we've only got five minutes. I'm a little worried. It's fine. And we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Uh, I, I oh. fell in the right on top of the ocarina by accident. So I just pick it up immediately. Perfect. <laughs> I was wondering about that zoom in right there. <laughs> so normally you're just standing in place and you just do the bubble and you hit him and then it zo- you're still facing the camera. So it's like, oh, it's the reaction shot. But like if you're facing any other direction, <laughs> which you have time to face in any other direction, it will still zoom in. Should, oh. we, should we clarify that you're not actually playing right now? No, yeah, this is all pre-recorded. I edited a bunch of stuff get- together because... Uh, like I said, the, the Wii U has save states, so this is just a bunch of good takes that I spliced together in a way that if I didn't say it, you'd think I was really good at this game, but I'm not. Wait, this memory isn't canon, right? 
Um, it's canon. Because I mean, that's not where he gets the ocarina. He gets it right, because she a, drops a, it in the way. So, a, so uh, this is this is after they have defeated Ganon in the future, and like everything goes back to normal, and like he's I think. Oh, this is the timeline where he goes back in time. Yeah, where we're getting that big fuck off timeline that's immediately destroyed as soon as the next Zelda game came out. Um, like, yeah. So I guess he's looking for. I think. This is him going off to search for Navi or something? I don't know. I did not realize he was on E-Pony right there, because it just looked like he had a really big legs. E-Pony. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, the other, <laughs> this is the timeline where Link also becomes Inspector Gadget and gets extended legs. Oh, back when I was a human. <laughs> <laughs> so just in case you, you didn't get the hint that we're supposed to play the Song of Time here, She's just gonna shout out Goddess of Time, please help us, we need more time. Interesting. Just in case. Yeah, let me just fucking. In case you, you didn't pay attention to that. Wouldn't you get that <laughs> but This is my favorite thing about. Um, um, that all the races have a different instrument. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that yeah, fucking yeah, whips. Man. It's so good. So cool. Burr, 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 burr. And the freaking Zora plays shreds on guitar. Yeah, it fucking rocks. Anyway, here's two. One of the, like, two times we're gonna see this. So. <laughs> My hat is bigger than me. <laughs> so, we're gonna get into it once we actually start doing stuff. But, like, Zom. it's Zom. super weird because we are just possessing a body of a Deku. <laughs> like, this isn't us changing, we are possessing a body. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Well, yeah, we're. We find out here that we're the bad ones. <laughs> Yeah, we are the baddies. Lunk was the villain all along. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that's the ultimate twist of this game, actually, is that we're the bad guy. At, At the end, the game, Link puts on Majora's Mask and <laughs> fucks up. Remember that. Is he... He's just wearing a, a Link mask. This game also... Man, Majora's Mask rocks, because it was made in, like, a year, and, like, it is just far and away so much more cohesive and, like, put together than Ocarina of Time feels. Like... Just in terms of like character and like just cutscenes, there's a lot less uh, like stock animation in this. Like if you look at all the Ocarina of Time cutscenes, every single animation you can see in at least like ten other cutscenes. But this one has like that camera swinging back and forth for the clock and just like that's really impressive. That it, they just made this so quickly. It was so quickly, and it's—I mean, it's basically two just, like all-star games. I in said such a short period. It is the. It is the Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 3's Ocarina Oh my god, that's a sick comparison. You know, a lot of people told me they liked New Vegas a lot more than 3, but I liked 3 a lot more. Actually. I don't know, man. I mean, I well, guess like, this is the same thing. A lot of people like Majora's Mask. No, that is true. Arena, People but... like New Vegas better because of the story, I think. I guess, but... I never played New Vegas. See, the I reason know. why I never liked Fallout New Vegas as much, I loved it, but... Also, watch me fucking... in the desert. Do you see how quickly I play oh, that shit? There are, like... Three songs in this game that I can play super quickly, and all the rest I will stumble through. <laughs> and like half my resets were just playing the song better. <laughs> you should play that as quickly as you can here with your actual audio. Oh, man, you should, you should, you should, <laughs> with your flute. I can't. Play. Oh, this big boy. It's over there. It's yeah, fucking, I see my hips. My five dollar ocarina I bought off of Amazon while com completely just like falling asleep on Benadryl. Mm -hmm. Like I just bought it one night and it showed up like two days later because I got it prime obviously. I got all my bits back. I yes. got all my bits. <laughs> Link's like, I got my junk. Also, uh, the Happy Mask Tailman is a horrible salesman because he made a deal that we'd get uh, Majora's Mask back if we got our Ocarina back and he changes, but he changes us before we do it. What a God, you can, you can see him right through the mask, too. No, yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing. All these masks, Hello. these masks have, <laughs> like, they have transparent textures. Like, they are well made. Him and his blocky hands. That's a bad salesman. He's got bad He's posture. He's so bad at it. Bad He's posture, so bad. bad salesman. He's like, like yeah, I'll just trust these. He is nowhere good as uh, President Deals here. President Deals. Uh, uh, we're getting political. Let's in get here. into it. Let's talk about President Deals. Let's talk about the Cheeto in Chief. <laughs> the Cheeto in Chief. As oh. I like to call him. Oh, man. Anyway. Here's... Sick joke, dude. Hell yeah, baby. I'm so good at stealing jokes from better people. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexy rituals. Can't get these. <laughs> Leaves it open for me to talk. I don't. It is said that an evil and wicked. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't think. No, there According is, to legend. There is not a cutscene skip for this. Because you have to get the Sonic and Kalen to actually play the fucking game. Oh. Because yeah, um, there's a lot of parts where you This team. I'm going to talk about a ton of other runs in this just because, like, the past two weeks I've just been watching a ton of different runs. In the two pause run for this, you don't get Song of Healing for the longest time. Wait, two pause? So you can only press the pause button twice. Is twice? that the, is that the minimum? Yes. Why twice? That's the minimum number of pauses you can play through this game doing. Oh. So on the first so in the first cycle they actually glitch themselves over into um, the Goron village and get the the, 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 what's it called? The, ma- the Lens of Truth? Mm-hmm. Because you need the Lens of Truth in order to get the Goron Mask. It's like, which you need for that. Because run. you're going through this so fast, he like changes his stance. Oh, I mean, he <laughs> just does that normally. He does that normally. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't no, remember. It's very creepy. <laughs> it's because it's like he's changing masks, so he constantly changes poses. But uh, in the two paws, you get the Lens of Truth because the first pause will be when you're uh, changing to the ocarina on top of the clock tower. So then you do everything you need to do with Deku before you get the Song of Healing, because after the Song of Healing, you're going to get the last equips. Wow. Well, actually, no. You get the Song of Healing, and then you get the Zora and Goron Mask, and also, I think, the Light Arrows, and that's all the equips you do. It is a lot. <laughs> Back to the first day. Nope. Night of the first day. We, we skipped tonight. Oh. Because, unfortunately, so I got weird requirements that I always play Majora's Mask in with, even if I'm doing them very quickly, with glitches. Um, I always do Anju and Cafe during the last cycle. I always beat every single boss before the um, during the last cycle. And I also uh, save Ramani, which doesn't really affect this cycle having to exist. But basically, we're going to play this first night because there are things that are mutually exclusive. Oh, hot boring. <laughs> yeah, no. Majority Mask rocks because we just get a bunch of people's faces. It's awesome. But it's yeah, really kind of in there are, setting. There are a couple masks needed for best per, uh, best ending percent, which is this run, that are mutually exclusive between doing the Andrew Cafe quest and not. Wait, so, so you do the Andrew Cafe quest in this in no, in the next cycle. This is I basically, see. we play from 6 to, like, 1 a.m. on the first day, and then we're going to do the, we're going to play Saga Time again, and then we're just going to be in that cycle for the rest of this right. run. Well, as long as you're having fun, because that's what game's all about. I love gaming. 100 rupees! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's love... all about having fun and game money. <laughs> what? I fucking... So, like, in when you're pl- can't playing this game casually... You're always going to be getting... Like, you'll start every cycle and immediately beeline to that chest. You'll always get that chest. There's absolutely no reason not to. It takes no time at all. Oh, God, I love this guy. (laughs) The dirty dirty man fucking rocks. Dirty music boy. I can't wait to say blank fucking rocks. I love his bird mask. I love that he's really jealous of a dog. (laughs) So he stole this guy. He stole that mask. Do you do the get get all the birds to follow you quest? Yeah, that's required. Fuck yes, I love that quest. I'm trying to remember. So you need well one. You need to get the bomb mask. You need to get the bunny mask, the bunny hood. Oh, so you do the sixty second. For the 30 second timer thing? No, that's not the bunny hood. Bunny hood is the one where you get all the chicken. Oh, really? Yeah. You use the bunny hood to get the heart piece oh, for that one. For the 30 second timer. Yeah, because if you wear the bunny hood, you can see the timer, where otherwise after two seconds the timer would disappear. What is the bunny hood doing? Bunny hood just makes you run faster, which technically you go about the same speed that you would if you were walking backwards. <laughs> but you're running forward, so it's kind of better, especially if you just have it. Hmm. Anyway, um, right here, we are going to start glitching out the game. Actually, welcome, you dirty decker. <laughs> this is where the glitch is. This is where the game really. Starts. Oh, you're not a decker. Never mind. We're not a decker. You're a normal human. <laughs> we are a Hylian. We are kind of an elf thing. We got pointy ears. We we serve Ooh. your kind. So uh, bomb chews are our. So basically, bombs and bomb chews in this game are like the our glitch ammunition. Mm. We need to constantly keep stocked up on them. Um, so here's the first glitch. It's called Infinite Sword Glitch. If while crouch stabbing you interrupt it, uh, the sword will infinitely be out forever and you can't fall off the ledges. 
Um, so with that, we can do bomb pops, where if you get if you take damage while in the air, not take damage but get hit by damage, you will stay at that height because <laughs> of infinite sword glitch. So we can use that to backflip and hop past the loading zone here. And we can, uh... What? We can hit this, uh, this owl statue, which is not the owl statue in South Clocktown. This is actually an owl statue without any data, which allows us to yeah, do... Yeah, nothing is here. <laughs> this is a fake thing just to look like there's South Clocktown there. But, yeah, if we void out, we start here. And, uh, that owl statue, you might be able to see is... Its wings are open. But this one... This one right here? They're closed. Uh... So right now we've got an owl without any data. Well, okay, Wait. what does this do? We'll get to it later, but basically, for the warp song, Song of Soaring, you can't go, you can't bring up the soaring map without a owl being hit. So with that owl being hit right there, it, it, the game is like, there's an owl hit, we just have no data for this owl. I see. So we'll see it later, but you can go into the map and there are certain, it's called index warping. So there's an index number for every single map position. And that index number will be basically stored. And then when you play Song of Soaring, it'll keep that index number, but on the Song of Soaring map. They aren't one to one. Like, you can't teleport to Clock Town if you put the, on the map, if you put the cursor on Clock Town, it'll actually go to like. Uh, where does it go? I think it might be Woodfall. Uh-huh. I think, wo actually, Woodfall, if you put the on the map, Woodfall would correspond to a warp to Clock Town. Sounds if that makes wild. sense. Sounds It'll make a lot like more sense. Just, uh, cheated. Yeah, it sounds like cheating to me. Oh, shit. Are you guys against cheating in this? I'm anti-cheating. Um, I'm all shit. for fun, but not if it's at the game's expense. <laughs> Listen. Basically, what you're doing is like griefing. You're griefing the game. I'm right? griefing in the single player game. <laughs> you little shit, you're griefing our game here. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. The, the, the Great Fairy mask is another mask that you have to get for best ending. Mm. Oh, she'll give you the mask and then you'll be able to find. Well, now that oh, you're not. Oh, you don't have to do anything with the fairies, you just need the mask. Now that you're not a Deku. Look at it, she's like, I got a mini mask that's my face. This you like to look like me. So you always remember me. <laughs> I fucking love just face masks. They're so great. Especially the cafe one. Which, like, instead Woo! of having, like, a dialogue choice to ask people about cafe, they're just like, if you're wearing a mask, it's like asking, have you seen this boy? <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so, uh, there's one last, there's two things we have to do in this cycle. getting that hard piece? No. Okay. You're not getting that heart piece. I think the only heart piece we get is that one. Oh, it's the bomb, dude. I get it. Yeah, yeah. So, there's two masks that were- the last masks we're getting in this cycle. And, uh, they both require to be at least 12. So, look at this guy's ass. Ooh, <laughs> that is a pointy ass. That is a pointy booty. Why are you waiting so long? Cause is there got, something up your ass? It, it, this is in-game time. We have to wait oh, for Oh, you have to wait for him to move. Oh, I like the Majora's balloon. People are a big fan of Majora in this town. No, he's got branding everywhere. It's amazing. <laughs> he's on all the buttons. Oh my god, you're, you're Link! You're, you're doing the thing! <laughs> I'm doing the back walk. Long. Here's the thing. Also, this since this game was recorded over, like, a week, like, I get significantly more tricky with stuff, like, as this run goes on, and it's not just because there's more tricks to be done. Like... At some point, I'll start backwalking more consistently, and at one point, I'll do a trick that I wasn't able to do before, like right before recording it. And your trick right here is having oh. fun on a slide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just having some fun. This is just having fun with because well, that's that's what I was talking about. You know, gaming's all about having fun, going on slides rather than actually going down. It's really all about having fun and just like getting fit, getting some backflips in Look there. At that. You know? Do a little Ooh, workout. Side Ooh, to side wow. slash. Get out of my face, kid. You know <laughs> Link kickboxes. Yeah. This is my playground, you little goofy kid. Here's a, um, we just saw a thing that we'll be using a lot. It's called a quick spin. Uh, it's just, it, it's a normal thing you can do in the game. It's just you circle the control stick before pressing B. You don't have to charge. No one charges. Only scrubs charge the spin attack. You're really going. Just about 12 now, though. Yeah, we gotta wait for this bomb lady to get over to a location. <sighs> We're, we're For in... a game that's really like a time crunch, it's a lot of waiting. <laughs> Listen, this is the majority of the waiting we do is 
for this and like the some of the Andrew Cafe stuff, but for the most part. Look at that guy. <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> you do the Andrew Cafe stuff? Well, obviously, clearly, you just did the first try. Yeah. Oh no, he stole her things and you, you got them. I got them. Oh. Uh, a little Easter egg here. Is that you, pointing us? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, if you hit him with an arrow while he holds the bomb bag, he explodes and then you lose the quest. You, you don't get the bomb stuff. Does he die, though? Yes, he has also well, died. It sounds like it's worth it. So, one, you fail... You don't, get, you don't get the bomb mask, and also the large bomb bag isn't in, in the shop, but also you can't do the Angie Cafe quest. If you stop him here, he... Uh, he that, that thief won't do a thing that you need for the Andrew Cafe quest. Uh-huh. So this this is like the only thing that you can't do in this run that affects a different thing. A sword? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> oh man, this fucking kid wants to leave. Oh, he's got a sword? Never mind. He's Looks fine. like you're a man. He's Go a good on boy. out there, boy. <laughs> okay, so this is the last thing we're going to do in this specific cycle. Uh, we're just getting this mask. Are you getting the, the dance mask? Yeah, we gotta get the dance mask. Yeah. We don't have to do the quest for the dance mask. We don't need to get the heart piece, we just need to get the mask. Hold on, I'm gonna open my insert brand name. That's train right now. Oh, uh, you mean down east? I'm done east. Crafts That's started. not what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a nice cold RC Cola. And I wish I had an RC Cola right now. Really? I've never thought of a moment where I was like, man, I could really go for an RC Cola. <laughs> man, I could really go for a Sprite. I would really hit a crush orange soda. What is it? Ooh. So this alien. Alien. Is this mask? This is the only uh, optional use of uh, Sonic Healy in the game. Oh. Which is super weird. Because most of the time it's. Uh, right A, down, right A, down. <laughs> yeah. So we use Sonic Healing and he's a ghost. He's dead and he's really sad that no one is going to learn his dance. And then you play the Sonic Healing and he's like, I'll give you this mask. Which lets you do my dance, and then there's two dancers. <laughs> the, the, I could train you for years to become an excellent dancer like just me. Just put on my <laughs> weird like face mask, where everyone else has like their face is the mask, like his chest is the mask, and his head kind of. I noticed that it's, it's more it's, like it's, a head. It's awesome. You can't, he, Blink can't see when he wears the mask. No, he doesn't know how much of a fool he looks like <laughs> it's just doing like, the dance. It's like one of those cardboard cutouts with like a strap on the back and the legs and the arms and everything and your arms. Okay. So now you're slowing down time, which is interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's very intense. Um, so in the N64 version of this game, Inverted Sign of Tong- Song of Time is broken, essentially, because of how, how much it slows down time. Mm. Like, it, it slows it down to a third, where in the uh, 3DS version, I think, only slows it down by half. And, like, that third is significant. Like, we like we were talking about that playthrough on YouTube earlier, where they were able to play through this game in one cycle, and they weren't using glitches. They were just playing the game straight. Yeah, yeah which is, like, I can't even think about it. No. I, I, I haven't played this game in so long, if it's not been obvious. Um, <laughs> I, 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 yes! Oh my god. If you jump far enough and hit the load screen high enough up, you just clip through the, you fall through the stairs. It's just a graphical load. Oh, sweet. So, so we got the money. It's a, it's a great way to get around. We got the money, and now we're going to get bombs, and then we're actually going to start doing main quest stuff. Awesome. It's only taken, like, 40 minutes. <laughs> you know, not bad. Like, it's the tutorial. So, in the any percent run, which I think is at, like, 1 hour 16 minutes at this point, like, literally the first half hour is the Deku cycle, and the rest of the game is the rest of it. Like, it's honestly hilarious how quickly you can do this game, but, like, how much the Deku cycle is... It's always that, like, the Deku cycle, regardless of where you're at, is always going to be, like, 20, 25 minutes. It's the longest. It is, it is long, and like I said earlier, unskippable. You can't do much. Mm. The most you can do is skip the bomber stuff, and that's, like, nothing. Oh, hi. These mover guys, they work so hard for three whole days yeah. to set up uh, one tower in the middle of the city. But everyone gone, then you're all gonna die. Well, like, half of them are just running around doing it. And it all seems to happen at night. <laughs> but they are holding Guys, watch this. I'm fucking backwalking. Whoa! Which is really hard to do I can't video. see where I'm going. Can I talk about the octagonal, um, the octagonal guard on... Every single yeah. did I? No, not 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 to So not to our every fans. other every console Nintendo console up until the Wii U, 
their control sticks had an octagonal uh, control stick guard, which allowed you to basically be very specific with a directional movement. And then the Wii U doesn't have that, which makes walking exactly backwards, forwards, or sideways incredibly difficult. Because if you're back walking and you go slightly to the right or left, you will lose all your speed. Like, there will be an animation where he, like, kind of stumbles before walking diagonally backwards. <laughs> and, like, that's why I don't backwalk at all, ever. Is because it is so, like, finicky. The moon shed a fireball. Which is just another reason why you shouldn't speedrun this game on Wii U. Besides the terrible speed. He's shaking your butt at you. The, 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 His butt, not your butt. How would he do that? So you would normally see that in the first cycle, but we need to get the moons here. Not for what you would think. We'll get to that much in like a half hour. There is one thing we need to get this from, and it, I think it was discovered only maybe within the last year. So this is a new part of the route. I also want to say that uh, this is Whoa, this is a route. Cheap, boy. This is a route that I did and like planned, so it's terrible and very slow, and no one should follow it. But it's, you know what, Ben? It's yours. It gets the job done. Yeah. And it's, it may be terrible, but it's got character. It's got character. And it, I mean, it has, see, that, the backwalk thing just happened, where I move the control stick a little bit, and you just stop. <laughs> and you gotta start over again. Anyway, if we pull up the ocarina and immediately take it away, right in front of this uh, thing, it uh, causes a time stop, which means we can run right past the cutscene that's right here. Awesome. And normally it plays... And we can just, uh, yeah, we don't have to see the origin story of, uh, Tail and Tattletail and, uh, the, uh, and Skull Kid. Yeah, I don't really care about these dusty specks anyhow. So these, yeah. these, these bright dusty specks. <laughs> God. Anyway, just run past all this stuff. I, I never liked those, those, uh, sacks. Those enemy sacks. The, the choo-choos? They're yeah, creepy. Yeah, they're creepy. I love the choo They got those creepy mouths. They're, they're happy about um, something. <laughs> the Wind Waker design for the enemy is so much better. Oh, yeah? Well, it's, you know the blobs in that game? With the crazy guys? Those are Jews. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, so, so the, these are the first games they were in, and they're basically just to be there to be heart and magic drops. Like, consistent magic drops. Because, you know, it's Majora's Mask. Like, you only really see them ever in Hyrule Field, and, you know, their heart and magic. Red or green. I like... One thing I wanted to point out, I like how, uh, as a daydream, you spin to, like, go faster, but you never see any of the other, like, Deku beings spin. Yeah. So, like, Link puts on that mask because and he's like, like a Deku, and he's like, well, I'm gonna spin around now. <laughs> For some reason, my hat really does a lot of damage when I spin. <laughs> so, he's got, like, razor blades at the end of his hat. <laughs> um, so you're supposed to follow the monkey. Don't oh, follow yeah. the monkey. You just know the path. It's, it's like, it's... Is it always the same? It is the same. Yeah. Uh, every day has a specific pattern, but it's always consistent on every day. It's like, it's like, left. Oh, those monkeys stole my shit. It's like left, right, right, straight, left, left on the first day. I've done it too many times. That's seven twelve. So we're doing that just to get the this bottle real quick. We're not actually gonna bring the potion back to our spoilers. We're gonna keep that red potion. We have a use for it. You just like to spoil everything. I'm trying to understand the story. Uh, yes, yeah, this fast text. This, this in-depth story where I'm skipping half the cutscenes. Hey, I just saw you. <laughs> oh fuck! I forget if I actually. God, she has horrifying. Yeah, eyes. so the eyes. I love this <laughs> because she oh just God. wants her sister to be okay. So here's the great thing. This is a perfect example of Majora's Mask reusing models. Those are like the second to last boss fight. Like, those, those are Twin Rova, like yeah. the Spirit Temple boss, and they're just like, they're potion sellers. Yeah, we just have some potions. They're potion sellers. Um, they're kind of racist. They won't sell to Deku's. But uh, besides that... <laughs> you know, they're a little racist, but like... You literally can't do anything with Deku, and it's like, it's always because they're like, oh, we don't sell to Deku's. Like, if you go up to her, uh, the one in the forest as a Deku, she'll be like, oh, you're no use to me. It kind of says a lot about you, where you're just like, well, I'll just not be a Deku right now. It's like, Listen, I'm... They might be... When you transform in front I'm of her. I'm race fluid. In this <laughs> they might be racist, but their wares are unbeatable. Okay, so I'm just going to run this Octorok 
There is a skip for the big Aku that you can do with the Aku Rock, but it's so hard to do consistently for me, especially in this game. So right so now- So you're doing a different skip? Yeah, I'm doing a different skip. So uh, in Majora's Mask, uh, the, um, the speed in which you go over a ledge determines how far you go. So if you take damage right next to a ledge, you'll do a long jump. And if we do that and just oh, kind of hey. skip over here, oh, that's... Can, yeah. Okay, so I don't understand what's happening now. Why so, I, oh, that's just because I was slow. If you're quick, you can just skip. Game didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> if you get too close to him, they they will spit you back out. <laughs> you but, wanted to go that way, anyways. Well, we skipped it. We didn't either bring the potion back or ride on the uh, tourist boat. Oh, taking all your pictures in one moment. Oh, no. we, we don't get the camera on this run. What? What? How are we going to no. document this? How are we supposed to take a picture? This is the most devastating thing I've heard since we started. How are we supposed to take a picture of uh, Tingle and then show it to the guy and the guy's like, oh my That's god. That's my son! My embarrassing 35-year-old son. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Anyway, if we do a jump slash here, oh, right as we do a side hop, we can just jump over these guys. Laters. You don't need to talk to God, all of, these, all of these guards uh, are like so bad. We're going to get ISG again and then uh, hop up here. Oh, I, hate, I remember hating this part. It's fine. Uh, we just kind of hop up of the fence, and then because we still have ISG, as soon as that platform comes up, we're gonna just appear on top of the platform, and then we can just float over. You are such a sassy cheater. Um, look, you? Ben, look at Ben. Look at Ben. They're cheating. <laughs> at the time of recording this, there is a different skip in which uh, we'll it, we'll do. It. We'll do a thing with like it later, but basically, all the kind of like there's holes in the ground all over, and all of those grottos where you get teleported, which like there's some hard pieces and stuff in there, that kind of thing. In Terminal Field, there's a bunch of grottos, and they're all on the same scene, as in like all the maps are loaded in the same area. Oh, okay. So you can actually bomb hover into a different grotto from each grotto, and one of the skips is there's. A thing, there's one of the grottos that has, is for one of the heart pieces, there's a bunch of um, gossip stones, and like you play the, the race song in front of it, and if you play all four of them, then you get a heart piece or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, if you bomb hover from that, you can get to right there, like one of the bean cellar. You get to the bean cellar grotto place, and you appear right where I was. I thought we weren't uh, going to see the bean cellar. We don't. Oh, because you could. I could, in theory. Um, that, I don't think, is a, no longer a strat. There's actually a faster strat, at least in 100%. Open your ears and listen hard. Listen hard to the people... Play it with A and, and C! <laughs> Play with A and C! So, Press these buttons. Basically, I'm saying we go. could go faster, but I needed to get that bottle for a thing anyway. So the way I went is about as fast as it could be. But, yeah. Oh my god, look at this guy. You can skip a lot of stuff. In this An game. intruder, but he's got a sassy beat. Listen, we need so um, you need to get most of the songs in this game. Most. I say most. You need to get two more songs in this game. Exactly <laughs> two. And <laughs> most. Yeah. This one is one of them. Only two. So, so you need the Goron song and the... you don't. What? Uh, there's a there's a Goron lullaby skip which I do. Uh, it, it is completely possible to skip the Goron thing. Technically, in this game, at least for any percent, you don't get the Goron mask. Oh. You just don't do any of the Goron shit. You do... That's wild. But you do do that. Right? You have to do Snowhead, but you can get through it without the Goron thing. In this run, I actually get through it without the Goron thing. But do you get the Goron? Yes, I do get the Goron thing. I love the Goron. Yeah, Goron's actually great. Um, so here, if you uh, do a, if you roll off that thing before it gets too low, uh, you just jump up here, oh. and that skips having to go up and around, and like go through. You just get up here. What? <laughs> Was this designed right to, to the dungeon? No. Um. So, oh, I love the owl. So here we go. Here's where the game actually starts breaking. Because right here is Song of Soaring. So say goodbye to progression. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I mean, we're still progress, but say goodbye to de developer intended progression. <laughs> we are done. We play our game the way that we want to play it, or we're... the way that Ben wanted to play it whenever you made it. Yeah, this. whenever he did this. Well, yeah, it was like a week ago. Oh. I probably recorded this bit a week ago. You think you could recreate it real quick? Um, in, in like an hour. I bet you could do it in an hour. I could recreate probably up until. Um, 
Right? I could probably do up until the, uh... Up until... What is it called? The, uh... New Wave Bossa Nova. The, the Zora... Zora song. Ah. Gotcha. God, people outside. It's literally the fine. children. The children you are know, screaming. We are making a. We are making a recording. You don't know about how many video professional game. videos have like sirens in the background yeah. because they live in New York. We are anyway. trying to make a recording about. So now you're in Kids Snowhead magically. Sorry, magic. explain to me how you got to Snowhead magically. We did the index work, the thing I described earlier. Oh God. So uh. Now you're hopping back. I believe That's so. Uh, Deku you. Palace corresponds to the snow village here. So, uh, so, if you put on the map, on, like, the menu map, if you put the cursor onto Deku Palace, and then play Saga Soaring, the icon, the, uh, the, the cursor on the Saga Soaring map will be default at, um, at Mountain Village. Awesome. Yeah. It is way too cold for a Deku. Okay, so, right now, in any percent, you would pull out Saga Soaring right here, and go to, um, you would teleport to, uh, Stone Tower. You just wouldn't do any of this shit because you don't need the Goron Mask, but I'm gonna go get the Goron Mask. Because who doesn't love the Goron Mask? Wait, you're getting the Goron Mask? Yes. Because I, I, you do need the Goron Mask for things in Best percent. I see. Yeah. Invisible Boy. And, and Ben's all about being um, the best. So you do this in one, in one go, right? Oh, yeah. Without the thing. Um, you, oh, but he drops feathers, right? He drops feathers, which I do just because uh, I kept fu I couldn't do this. Like honestly, I, I for whatever reason was completely unable to do this without the thing. But it's very easy to do without it if you're cool and like um, sexually attractive. So, <laughs> <laughs> ben, what are you trying to say? Are you not? No, ben, you're Ben. I am. Ben's a handsome man. I'm banging. Yeah, as I would describe it. <laughs> Banging. Banging. Quotes. Hey, Banging Ben. Can I have some pretzel? Some pretzel? You, you wanna do, those are stale pretzels. Yeah. Oh man, that's fine. I'm kind of hypoglycemic right now. <laughs> pretzel shop. Oh, these are fine. What are you talking about? I don't think these munching sounds that are going to be in this recording. It's really just Ben, um, ben and I. <laughs> right now, it's just faster for me to get back to Saga Soaring, back to Mountain Village. Wow, those wings really do come right out of your ass. It's ass wings. Um, freelance astronauts. 2008's very own. Uh, I, I stole that quote from them. That's my jo their joke, not mine. <laughs> um, so, here's the weird thing. You do need Lens of Truth to get the Goron Mask. But you basically just need, it needs to be out in a frame. It just needs to be out for a frame before you go, before you can play Soggy Gailing in front of the ghost. Like, you just need to see the guy, basically. Interesting. Also, you obviously don't need to do this, but if you mash Lens of Truth while climbing this, you don't lose any magic. Now, I forget, what, what hides these types of things in this game? Like, what? It's just lots of truth. But what makes them hidden? Like, does it explain why things are hidden? Or um, just... There's not a lot of I think in this, um, if once you beat Snowhead and like the snow disappears, you can see this. So technically, I think this specific one is under the snow. So either... Yeah. <laughs> so it's just under the snow. You don't need a magic thing. But... That boy's frozen. <laughs> that rock boy is frozen. There's also a weird scene climb you can do, but I couldn't get it to work. Or based... on Graveyard. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about, since we're actually doing Song of Healing stuff. So we play Song of Healing four times in this game, five times if you get that dancing guy, but he doesn't really fit the mold. Oh, so, what is this? News. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm black and white. It makes my bones feel some sort of rhythm. <laughs> so the four times you play Song of Healing are um, when you're getting the Deku mask. You get it for the three transformation masks and then the Gibdo mask. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting the progression we go in. Because Deku Mask, the guy, the body that we're possessing with the Deku Mask, has been dead for a bit, like a while. Quite a bit. So this guy, this guy has been dead for like a couple days at most. A couple of, <laughs> a while. A couple Very. Days. He, he died. <laughs> Dude's been dead for like basically a hot week. <laughs> Majora, Majora came into uh, Termina and you know fucked up Snowhead, and then he went up into Snowhead to try to stop Goat, and he got killed. And that's how he died. So it's been like a couple days at most. <laughs> Zora guy is literally dies. Dies in front of you. Dies in front of you. And then Gibdo, 
You save him. He doesn't die. There's an actual progression. Wait, which one's Gibdo? It's, uh, you need the Gibdo mask technically for, uh, if you're playing normally. Wait, what is the Gibdo mask? The Gibdo mask is just the mask that lets you go through the well and talk to the Gibdo so you can do that dumb oh, thing. Oh, yeah. But, like, it's the guy who's, like, half Gibdo. Like, he is being transformed into a Gibdo. Right, yeah. Look at you and now. you save him. You save him. You actually get better at helping people in this game as the game goes on. And now you got, thing. now you got your little bongos. <laughs> Yeah. The bongos are the coolest instrument, I think. You I mean, think the bongos are? The guitar is pretty cool, too. You seem to like the guitar. Right. I think all the instruments in this great game are great. I don't remember Shrek playing the bongos, though, so I don't <laughs> think this is quite game. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Shrek did play the bongos. Anyway, in this um, one. here, we're at the last temple in the game. Um, what? And we're just gonna fall. What? How did you how did you get to the last town? Mm. I'm confused. Um Goron Village, the map corresponds to Stone Tower. Oh. So we are now in the Kata Canyon. And for whatever reason, walking down that ramp makes you go really slow, so jumping is better. I'm making my way down. I'm just killing that guy. Oh, so you're getting the, the mask now. We are doing the Gibdo mask now. Which awesome. I don't know if it's technically needed for best percent, but I read it somewhere that it is. So I'm just getting it to be safe. Uh, yeah. So anyway, if we aim at a specific part and then do a thing called a recoil flip, which is essentially flipping right as the bomb explodes, we can clip into the building and come in through the other side. Because normally you have to... Cool, 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 super cool. Everyone's so, having fun with this game. <laughs> so normally you have to... Like, oh god! See, as I was saying... He's oh, being too turned... much collagen! <laughs> <laughs> he's being turned it's into a kid, though. Um, you gotta, like, make it rain using, like, what is it, Song of Storms, so that the song plays and the gig goes leave, oh, yeah. so the little girl comes outside, and then you can sneak in because the door's locked otherwise, but if we clip in, we don't have to do any of that. It looks like a Tugger. I'm going to call him Tugger. <laughs> Tugger. Tugger the Father. This is, like, the, the, the only guy we save with Song of Healing. Everyone else is just kind of comforted, but he's legitimately, he's like, like, I was going to die. He's alive now. I was oh God, I ate so many people. And then Link's like, can I have this mask, though? Uh, you just take it. We take this guy's, uh, like, half body. That's the other thing. Because the guy isn't dead, we have no body to possess. So what are we possessing? We don't. Nothing. You just put on the mask. This one isn't one of the transformation We're possessing masks. toilet paper. Uh, it, uh, you're just mistaken. Wait, what do you use with a Gibdo mask again? Um, you can you talk just... to Gibdos in below the well. Oh, and they don't talk. They don't hurt you. Yeah. They tell you what ingredients. They're you like, need to... give me four beans, <laughs> and then you give them four beans. Now I can rest easy. I need three. Honestly, fish. that might that might actually be the quote. Is now I can rest easy. It's very similar. Yeah. To that. <laughs> it's very. Thank you. All I needed was four beans. Oh, I've been cursed for eons. I just oh. need some beans. Um, I don't need to get this mask. This isn't required, but I'm getting this mostly because the English version makes the the pirate fortress a lot harder than the Japanese version. In the oh, Japanese yeah. version, at night, their sight is literally like reduced to right in front of them, and as long as you're like side hopping, they can't. See but you with this all. mask, they can't see you. They can't see you at all because in the English version, they are vigilant as fuck, and it was just quicker to do this than try to deal with that. I love the stone mask because it makes you look so doofy. Yeah, I love the stone mask. This was one of the things that I hated changed in 3D, even though it makes sense that they changed it in 3D. Yeah. It's it's inside the pirate fortress in 3D. Which... Oh yeah, right. So he's sitting in the like. Whereas this this is a thing that you might never know about because you didn't yeah. even learn the truth. And also, it's in the area that you're not gonna go if you're just what? going. Like, now we're here. Yeah. yeah. So actually, the thing is, we're, we're just going we, wherever you, we please. If you don't open up the map at all, the default location is right there. So, if you just play Song of Story without opening a map, you come here. You come here. So why would a fish man ask to be brought to shore? Because he can't swim. Because he's dying. Why is he dying? Cause he's dying. But, that, but why is he dying? Grab that boy. Um, if you're cool, and like, um, attack. If, if you're cool, you can skip this cutscene. But are you uh, cool, Ben? But I uh, didn't. Ben, I guess you're not that cool. I forgot. He's <laughs> gonna die right now. Yeah. So him walking to fall. What a view, though, of this ocean as this man walks. Him walking to fall and die here is actually slightly longer than the in Ocarina of Time when the King Zora. 
shuffles out of the way so you can get it to Jabu Jabu. He really digs his feet into that sand. That's a very funny cutscene. <laughs> it's also cool if you push him to a specific pot, uh, part into the onto the shore um, because he has the grab. Uh, you've got the grab thing as your A button. If you're standing, you can actually pick him up and walk him over to this location. So that's also one of the skips. If you push him in a certain direction to a very specific spot, you can pick him up and your, just walk around with him. Your flute won't work. I'm too far gone. Yeah, no. Right now we're just soothing him. Yeah. Make his death a little less painful. Because, like, uh, the Goron guy was like, I fucked up. I feel so bad. Everyone's going to suck. Uh, everyone's going to suffer because I wasn't strong enough. And then he plays Song of Healing and he's like, hey, I'll give you my body so you can do what I couldn't. Don't you want my body? And this hey, one, he's like, give, to give us this day our daily bread. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is like, Yo, Jesus is Goron. hey, you can use my body as long as you do this one thing, which just so happens to be a thing you have to do anyway in order to beat the game, but also, please do this thing. It's just really nice. <gasps> this, this, uh, What's the band called? It, it's the, the Go-Go, like... Oh god. The, the Indiegogos. Indiegogos. Oh my go. god, they're so also, good. Also, this cutscene's fucking sad. Jenny I, just hit the wall. <laughs> she Jenny just hit the wall. The... <laughs> this game's fucking sad. Like, that song has, like, uh, Song of Healing, like, that piano version is so good. And it plays over both the Goron scene and this one. And also the Gibdo guy scene. Like that, <laughs> but, like, that guy's alive, so it doesn't matter. Except for his face. His face stays. Oh, we got his face also, <laughs> yeah. by the way. I it's not that. a mask. It's yeah. his face. Honestly, off. the best part about masks in this game is that it's just faces. Yeah. Also, here he goes. Here, listen to my song. He just fucking jams out. Yeah. Also, if he didn't just play song in... Oh, man. Because it takes up time... I couldn't do it, and I had to just play Song of Healing, but if you talk to him when he's still faced out on the beach, he just plays a fucking song, and he has the best sound clips in the game. Just like, oh! Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> Save me! Oh, baby! Baby, <laughs> did you like my tune? Here's my guitar. I, it's made from bone. Oh, here's the other thing. Um, Fish bone. You may have seen it with, when we put on the decking mask for the first time, but if you put a mask over a different mask, you don't get the, that unskippable cutscene. So that's why I turned Gore on there before turning Zora. Whoa, oh, that makes sense. It, it saves about like 10 seconds total, but you know. Also, now look you, at you. If you do, the, um, doing this dolphin flip, like dive is a lot faster than just swimming under the water. So, if it's, you're, um, you're a little more. These swimming mechanics are pretty tight. Yeah. They're like really good in this game. No. They're pretty alright. Some of the parts were like weird, but when you're in open water, just like so. Oh, the yeah. parts where you had like, to like dash it is, rather than like just kind of. It is one hundred percent. Whenever you're trying to jump on something, you're always gonna smack your head. Yeah. But like, actually swimming is like that's the best swimming I've felt in any game. Ooh, yeah. Honestly. And I'm just gonna put on. It's just it's quicker. You can just. It's probably actually faster to do the Zora thing, but it's way more consistent to just put on the stone mask stone and mask. jump on a boat because they can't see you. Yeah. There you go. Just have a little your ride, you know? Yeah. Hijack some of the boat. Also, plus, it's be your boat. there's still a lot of in-game time that I can't skip anyway that I'd have to wait for, so at least I'm, like, progressing, is my thought, in terms of an entertainment value. It's not even new. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not even new, and I've already got all three transformation masks. It's not even a new, and you're already having a boat ride with a babe. <laughs> and I've gotten... They're all babe. What's going on, purple pants? That's right. <laughs> Um, I, uh, it's not even new, and I have all three transformation masks, and there's only one more song I need to get. Can I get digit? Okay, bye. So you haven't done any dungeons, though, yet. I have not done any dungeons. Which is important, I think. Which is also crazy, because it's weird to see the game at this you, stage, and you haven't done any. I think even in any percent, like, a large portion of this thing is just setting up for dungeons, and then doing all of them real quick. Boom. So oh my we're, just, God. we're just gonna hover across here instead of doing the whole like sewer section. So why does the bomb keep going off? Because he keeps making. Um. It. So you keep dropping bombs. Well, or? When, yeah, but there's no time. When I do the flip, that's when I use a chew, and if the chew hits the infinite sword, it explodes. I see. So if you so but when I flip, I also shield drop it. That's why you're so, saying they're so important. Yeah. No. You can you can do the same thing with bombs. Is just that you actually have to time it as opposed to just flipping. Okay. So. Bombs are really good for when you need to go a long distance, but shoes are really good if you just need to do a quick, like, hop backwards. That lady just looked at you. Because they technically could still hear you, but it's just basically like, 
alert, it, the alert just checks to see if you're wearing the stone mask or not. Right. And then, uh, yeah. Come on, Tuttle, let's go sneak into these ladies' um, house. I don't think we should. I guess she'll just miss the panty raid. <laughs> the panty raid. <laughs> We're doing um, a panty raid, I heard. So You're talking about girls, right? This is also a cutscene you can skip somehow. But you oh, the wasp cutscene? Yeah. If you're cool. You can skip all this. In the Japanese version, you can just do a series of cool jumps in this location down here, which you can't do in the English version. You just, as long, it's basically like... Wait, is this one you have to shoot with a bow? Uh, you don't have to shoot with a bow. You're supposed to, but the Deku bubble works as well. Did you use the Deku bubble? I, yeah, because I, I don't have a bow yet. Do you get the bow? Yes, you have to get the bow. Bow in one of the dungeons, right? Well, you su- you, uh, so basically, <laughs> you, you have technically need, you need the bow and the light arrows. On normal runs, you're going to need the fire arrows, but even I think even in normal runs, you don't need the ice arrows. Like, you can basically just skip those. Yeah, you need the ice arrows for the water temple. Yeah, in the water temple, but if you're just doing a normal... Like, you technically can skip them in everywhere else. You you could technically get through the game without the ice arrows. Because, for whatever reason, in the Ikana um, Canyon, the, uh, yeah. Come on, man! The bubbles are really hard to control because they go all over the place. Yeah. It, it actually, you end up just getting a lot... Like, I didn't move the camera at all, but I'm gonna hit it this time. Like, it, it, the bubbles are a lot less specific. Oh my god, three bees! <laughs> <laughs> Let's all leave! There's fucking bees, holy shit. It's three bees! <laughs> I can't get stunned, I'm allergic. So, the, so, um, what was it? So, you definitely don't need them in speedruns, but like, in Icona Canyon, you can hookshot to a tree, because the tree's slightly too close. So you don't need ice arrows to get into iconic. Oh, I think I've, I've seen that they one. They fixed it in 3D, but there's other things you can do in 3D. It's here. The, it's exploit. The other dudes from that one speedrun we were talking about yeah. do that. Yeah. You don't need it. <laughs> so we're, we're getting the fucking hook shot. We're getting the hook shot which breaks Woodfall and Snowhead. Because you <laughs> it's all made of wood, right? I mean, it's less that it's all made of wood and just the temple is not made to be done with a hook shot. Right. So, <laughs> so it's for just our like, purposes. everything easy. Um, because... Do you get all, all the eggs? Huh? Do you have no, to get all the eggs? You don't get all the eggs, do you? Why would I get all the eggs when I just have a bottle? Oh god, a clam. That's a spiked clam. Well, we're gonna deal with the eggs real quick. No, all the eggs just give you a heart, right? No, you have to get all the eggs to get the song. But the song? Do you get that song? You just need seven eggs out of seven. I hated, I hated freaked me out for some reason. The clams? The clams are awful. Wait, so you do get all the eggs? I get seven eggs. Jesus. That's that's a lot of eggs. I, I do produce seven eggs at some point. And you get them individually? I individually put the eggs into one bottle. I I only need one bottle. Look, oh, flying. you're glitching it. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Look, it's a flying fish. You're about to do it right now. Oh, Dude, that's... watch this motherfucker. With one egg, create seven eggs. Are you are you gonna cheat even more? Look, he's about to cheat at this video game. So we're gonna this learn. This game is ruined. So here's the reason we got that moon's tier. The oh. moon's tier. We got the moon's tier because it's the most easily available thing that is in its specific slot. What that fireball that fell from the sky? Yeah. So that yeah. moon's tier. So it's up in the right hand corner. So if we put the cursor on and then move over to the map, and as we're moving back about eight frames in, if we press. If we press up left in the button, it'll it'll use the moon's tier, but it'll just keep the original item down there. So I can just keep doing this, and eventually I'll get seven eggs. Oh my god. <laughs> so, Are you kidding? This is so much easier on the GameCube version. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, the fact that I'm doing, what the fuck? The fact that I'm doing it this fast on the Wii U version is actually insane and took like two hours to get a good take up. But like... <laughs> As I said, I did it on the Wii U virtual. <laughs> I, I did it on the Wii Virtual Console, and I did it like I did like five out of six of them just one what the fuck? in a row. I just this fucking knocked those out. This is like one of the most tedious parts of the entire game. <laughs> this part of the game sucks. So yeah. what you would do is you would buy beans, and you would get a Deku nut and the Deku stick, and you dupe a bunch of bottles over those items. But then you would just just get all the eggs normally. So you don't wait. Are you, do you race 
those guys at all. Like the, do you remember who I'm talking about? Like the weird rainbow dudes that are like challenge you to swimming. Oh, the, the the those are just harpies and a model. Wow. Do you do that at all? No. I'm just skipping all of that. I already got basically everything I need for the rest of the game. Mm. Outside of like uh, what's it called? The the era like dungeon items and masks are all I need to get left. So but you just keep doing. This. I'm gonna end up getting another bottle, but it's just. While doing a thing for a mask that I need, you end up getting the bottle during that series of quests. Do you? This is a very fun thing to watch as a viewer, I'd like to say. Oh, I think so. Well, it's just, like, really entertaining, because you can see that you're definitely playing a video game. <laughs> because the parts of video games, I think, that I like the most are the parts where you just get to be in those menus. You just, you just I the love menu. the menu. You love the menu you of menu, a video game? <laughs> and after getting it, like, five times within two minutes, you spend two minutes just fucking it up. <laughs> Spencer... <laughs> I just, just being like, my favorite part of the, of the video love, game is the pause menu. I love the <laughs> pause menu. Even if I fuck this up for like five minutes, it's still faster than doing the bottle thing. I just oh love God, resource forever. management. <laughs> in like, video. The, the fastest person can probably do all seven eggs in like ten minutes, but I do it in five and I fuck up for this long. Like, you still save time doing this glitch badly yeah. than doing the game now, perfectly. Have you discovered any of these glitches? Or no, is this all research? I, I, this is all just research and watching videos and screaming at this TV for like 30 minutes while I try to get this to happen one time. And then you did it once and you were like, it works! Well, I wish we thing. had some of Ben's audio during it. Yes. <laughs> I was talking about the octagonal uh, control stick card. Yeah. You will also notice that that octagon is at a slight angle. Yeah. To make it more comfortable for your thumbs. Right, because so it's actually like, it's not it's directly up and back. It's slightly to the right. Alright, you got up. seven eggs. So, oh my god, you, you did actually, it. even Babies. though you have to press up left to get that to work as quick as it needs to. So that's really hard on the Wii U because you're actually pressing more like up slightly to the left instead of up left. And wiggle and wiggle and wiggle. So I'll be honest, I gotta say, this is my favorite part of this game. I just think it's so clever the way that this they do this. Well, they're, there's also they're forming notes. There's also it's a, a song. <laughs> there's a certain way to skip this bit. Like you just need to pull out the guitar and then do a certain thing that'll let you just fly away. <laughs> oh. Well, but no. so, you still get the song, but you don't need to go through this bit. <laughs> First few seconds in this world, I'm gonna form a note. Wait, it's really cool. Oh my god, you rock! It's really cool how these fish people come from tadpoles. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, I mean, we're all such a good. It's so good. We're all just eggs growing up. Also, all the all all the like the Zora Goron and um Deku songs are the best, and I I love. Uh, the, uh, what's it called? The Elegy of Emptiness, but unfortunately we don't use that in this run. I love, I love this person next to Okay, me. so if we index warp with Snowhead's data, it's gonna bring us to Woodfall, I believe. Yes. So we're gonna do the first half of Woodfall. You did this a week ago? Okay, so the reason that this index thing works is yeah. because you don't have any... The game is like, we've got an owl, but we've got no data for the owl. I see. So, so, we'll so you, if you were out. to get an owl, it would ruin all. Yes, you can't use I index warp anymore. So that's why you're not hitting them. There's but still... this is vital to the run, it seems, to me. Yes. At least to make it go as fast as it... <laughs> Getting nuts for the first um, time. In 100%, you what do nuts? use index warp for a bit, but you basically... Um, you end up just going to, like, Stone Tower, because that's the hardest one to get. You, you do the index warps, you fly around, and eventually end up at Stone Tower, and that's the first owl statue you'll hit is Stone Tower. I see. Because that's the hardest one to get back to. Well, stuff like, you know, Woodfall and stuff like that is, like, it'll take seconds. Dude, look at that water animation. That's what I was just going to say. The water <laughs> animation is very impressive. So, yeah, like we were saying, well, purple, um, purple drink. <laughs> you can skip, lull, you can lullaby skip, but you need the Song of Awakening, and... The, the song, uh, and then the new wave boss nova. Those are required because they, you know, raise up this, this, uh, the temple, or they, uh, you know, make the turtle that'll let us get into Great Bay. I'll tell you when you need to guess on, uh, time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, this is, oh, spoil spoilers, this is in the whole dungeon. Uh, we're for, just getting the bow. For all of our friends watching, because <laughs> um, you're all friends to us. Uh, I'm gonna guess when Ben. When, what time I think it'll take Ben to finish a dungeon? 
if I'm gone by like what more than anyway, like two minutes, here's, then I'm gonna here's take an a example shot. of how the hookshot breaks this dungeon. Did you already done? Done. Oh. It's over. Wait, did you just beat the dungeon? No, I just skipped a bunch I... of Deku flowers. Anyway, now we're gonna fly over here and skip an entire floor. I did not realize the amount of glitches, so I'm, I'm guessing that my guess is going to be really off. It's going to be really no, off. No, it's going to be really funny. That's why I'm saying this one. Wait, you're, in this, you're not doing the full dungeon? No, I'm just getting the bow right now. And then you're going to another dungeon? Yes. Okay. We need the bow for basically all the other dungeons. You technically don't. You don't. You don't need the bow for a great bay, but it just makes things faster. I, I hated these guys. So this guy, if you hit him twice he, with the Goron, he dies. Oh, you my can, jaw. <laughs> you, can, you can also just uh, do a jump slash with a Deku stick, and that'll kill him in one. Um, Got him in one. So go. this is just the bow, and then you're good. Yeah, I'm just grabbing the bow. Because I, I, you, can, you can get all the arrows, but, but the bow gives you a quiver, which just as like, a, a data point, you're like, oh, have a quiver. Okay. So now arrow drops will start happening. Right. So that's you can't get arrows until no. Until after the battle, you get drop. There's probably a way to glitch yourself a quiver because there is in Ocarina of Time, but I don't know. It's probably just faster to get the bow. Anyway, yeah. So wait, what is it, what is the first dungeon you're doing? Uh, we're gonna go to Great Bay right now. Great Bay. That's the water temple. Cool. I, I, Water Temple in this game is super awesome. Just in talking about how Termina is like a ghost version, like a night uh, dream version of uh, Ocarina, mm -hmm. like Hyrule. Like the Water Temple in this game is super industrial, including like just metal clangs in the soundtrack. While the uh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, Pete. Spencer's going to the bathroom. Yeah, gives us a chance to be alone. Yeah, <laughs> I can just make out. Now I'm here with Banging Ben. Hell yeah. Just, just Dan and Ben here. <laughs> Hope Spencer gets back before I get to the temple. Hope Spencer gets back before I finish. <laughs> oh my god. I don't need this. Here's Sorry. a useless back walk. Is that not um, PG enough? It's fine. <laughs> well, like, uh, the water temple in Ocarina of Time is like... It's masonry. It's it's very religious, obviously. Like its soundtrack is like very toned down. Whereas this one's like industrial. Everything is pipes. It's Where did you go? You were like cruising through that ocean. Oh yeah, no. Doing the dolphin dives is so quick. Is it a lot faster than swimming? Like it this? is faster, yeah. Oh, okay. It's faster than swimming under the water. Also, I'm coming at this angle so I can just flip. I can break a couple pots, hopefully. Just hop him back up in here. Nope. Nope. Uh, That's fine. You're gonna do it anyways. Yeah, just fine. Some speed run. Listen. <laughs> we're just gonna play a new wave. Jam out on our new fishbone guitar. Mm hmm. This is my guitar. I call it fishbone. <laughs> yeah, I stole it from some dude. I put on pants, but like, other than that, I'm definitely. Some the cow. nudist washed up on the shore and died, and I stole the ship. Also, here's the insane thing a lot of people always. It's so weird in this game because whenever you're wearing a mask and like. People in uh, the Goron like ta uh, city uh, place village will be like, "Oh my God, I thought you died." And here, people will mistake you for the Zora, but then yeah. like she is literally like that Zora's lover, and and she does not give you a moment's notice. Like, like in order to get into the temple, you have to hook shot up onto this guy, this this turtle, and to hook shot onto the turtle, you've got to take off the mask because you can't use items as a Zora. <laughs> or like as a as a Goranza or a Deku, normally. So like she's just like, oh man, this guy finally played the song and I can sing again. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's not my it's not my lover. <laughs> he died. Who? What? <laughs> Dude is dead. How how did he die again? Like why? Um, is it explained? He tried to get the eggs back from the the uh, pirates, I think, and or and like the pirates fucked him up. Oh. I think also, isn't it like the seas are super stormy or something? Yeah, it's ba it's a bad situation. It, it's one of those two. I always thought that she looked kind of like Casper. <laughs> With her big head. Um, hey, uh, get a timer going, because so we're, right, go go. go we're about to go into Great uh, Bay. Oh, jeez. Okay, um, I'm going to guess. Sure. Great Bay Temple. Dan, you played this game before, yes? Yeah, I'll, it's, it's okay. Water Again, if it's game. not obvious, these two have played this game quite a bit. I haven't played this game <laughs> played in a long, this game. long time. I've been in this game like four times in the past two weeks. I've been in this game once in my life, <laughs> and it was a while ago. And it was also one of those things where I 
played through maybe about half of it. Sure. And then put it down, picked it back up again. Oh, you get to the places that I do when I keep trying to do 100%, where I get to Great Bay and then stop because oh, yeah. everything <laughs> opens up as soon as you get the Zora mask and the hook shot. Like, there's just too much stuff to do, and I'm not going to. Right Whoa, into the vortex. Cutscene, this cutscene's brutal. Right into Watch that tornado. It. Come on. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, why yeah, did you have this pad? Time, give there? me time. Uh, I'm gonna guess. I don't know. You're exploding so many glitches. I'm gonna say 15 minutes. 15 sure. minutes. 15 yeah. minutes. Round, Let me know when, round, the, when, when it starts. Um, start as soon as this cutscene start. Like, is over. Now. Yeah. Great Bay Temple. Great Bay Temple. Here we go. Happening. We're here with our Finding Nemo turtle friend. Question: Are we? Um, are we'll include the boss in this room, estimate. Room. That's good. You must defeat the um, the boss does change just in terms of time. Alright. So if you clip down uh, here... You're already doing stuff. <laughs> and you place so the bomb down, down, down here and turn around, down. You're turn around. Uh, you flip into the ground. Oh, well, so now you're just going to And you turn down right, and you kind of aim so, like, that the edge of that light thing is halfway in between. You turn back into a guy. Uh, you, know, you turn around, you take out a bomb. Uh, and you're gonna you're gonna recoil flip into the abyss. And uh, anyway, we're at the boss. God. Damn it. Uh, well, so. <laughs> <laughs> you knew. You knew. <laughs> this so, boss battle better take fifteen. I know everyone was really excited to see the dungeon, but we're not gonna. Yeah, no. fuck the dungeon. Screw the dungeon. This is probably like one of the easiest bosses too. I disagree. This boss is this terrifying. This boss sucks. Really? I had a pretty easy time with it. If you just get it into a corner. This boss is really annoying. I'd say it's not hard. It's just that kind of frustrating. I guess it's a little. It's a little strange in terms of how the other bosses fight. There, it's just like you end up having a lot less control because of. Oh wait, somehow. no. It's it's George. Which one did you think <laughs> it's it was? George? I think, I thought it was the um like the gelatinous like blob one that like uses the water. Oh, that's a mini boss in this. Game. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're not. No, sure. George is tough. We're seeing like two mini bosses in this game, like three mini bosses total in this game. God damn it! So Spencer, go get here's the thing. Vodka. When when you stun Guyord, um, you can hit him anywhere with the light the lightning, but uh, when he's unstunned, you can only hit him in the head. So after you hit him once, you can usually keep him down if you're, if you're swimming good. Anyway, uh, here is the most annoying part. Um, he just feels sometimes, when he feels like targeting you, he's gonna grab you. Yeah, it just happens. And uh, I got super lucky here with that lightning. Yeah, you got a quarter of health. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Anyway, yeah, we just had to hit him five times with lightning, which is pretty easy. But um, yeah, no, uh, it's really hard to get him that second time, and I, only, I got really lucky with this one. Did you already beat him? Yeah. God, are uh, you... Uh, this is going to be a problem. Thank God we don't have, like, a... Spencer, you know, what we got for time on that? Is it not completed until he gets that mask? I don't know when I would say it's completed. I would say as soon as we get the mask, we can call it. So, right now. Two minutes, 46 <laughs> seconds. I was close. 15? So, what is that? So 13 shots? Yeah, by 13 minutes. <laughs> Pretty tough, pretty tough. So 13 shots, let's go. Wait, you never said I had to get a <laughs> shot for no, each minute that I was would be, That would be ridiculous. Honestly, like, I can't, that would be... Uh, you know what, I'm feeling ridiculous. Line them up. I Line them up. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. And, like, I'm going to be honest... You don't kill me, I'm a Scott. <laughs> that is probably the fastest dungeon in the game. That? Yeah. Okay. Everything else still has a bit of level that you have to go through, but that one's literally that the one's one. the fastest. That's two minutes, the one. Forty-five seconds. The other dungeons, I'm gonna have to really think about what. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, here. that's fair. It's just that the the other ones are more or less because that one we don't need to get ice arrows. So like the other dungeons are kind of like you need to get the arrow and then do the the boss key skip. Okay. So well. like this one, we could just bypass the boss key skip. And the way this game works, and I think Ocarina too, is that the boss door, like, loading object is always loaded, regardless of where you are into the dungeon. Mm. So, like, if you can clip out of bounds and have enough bombs, you can always get there, but there's obviously quicker ways. You got to, to the boss fight from the entrance. Yes, literally the first room. You can just clip into those stairs and backflip. Informative for you guys, uh, bad for me. Spencer, where's my vodka? 
Ah, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. We can do it afterwards. No! Well, they need to know that I'm done it. Also, I, if you're going out, can I get a glass of ice in it, too? Oh, my God. You Spencer, guys are so You are needy. hosting us. Yeah, we are your guests. We drove all the way out here to western state we live in. Eastern, actually. We're in the east of this. Wait, 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 Spencer, Spencer, Spencer. Could you give me some Oreos? Well, you want to go to Sorghum and some Oreos? I would love no. some other stuff. <laughs> I, I, it's not a problem. I want the fake Oreos. <laughs> you want some? You want some Newman's O's? <laughs> no. What are, what are those things called? called? They're the O ones. Oh. They sound like a medicine, but they're like the original Oreos that Oreos actually stole. Why are they? Go- I you know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know. Let's just settle on some fig Newmans. All right, fig Newmans. I'll see you with fig Newmans. Everyone calls right. fifteen to twenty minutes. Thank sure. you. Okay. I see. By you. then we'll be done with not of the three temples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think. What am I doing now? I know, I'm, I think I'm refilling on bombs and stuff right now. Okay. And I think I'm doing a Nothing wrong with a little supply run. Yeah. You know? Spencer's on a supply run for us. We're on a supply run in the game, so it's, yeah, it's, it lines up. <laughs> there, I, I, I say fake Oreos, but Oreos literally stole the, uh, stole the, like, ingredients for them. Wait, Oreos stole it? Yeah, Oreos came second, but everyone... Likes Oreos. Also, right there, I did uninvert time, because... Like I said, this is a in-game. This is an in-game time segment in which I need to speed up time so events can happen quicker. Mm. So I will be getting the bombs, but at like what at like two thirty, I need to do a thing, and if that wasn't happening, I would need to spend about three minutes like getting bombs, which are not going to be necessary. Thanks. Oh, you brought three. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not doing it. They're all for you. Yay! <laughs> I love this guy. He he just looks like he's some sort of like he rocks because he, he takes like four hours to walk out from behind. And yeah, he's also, and he just kind of saunters out. He's like, "You ever been in a war?" <laughs> I've been in several. If, if, I'm uh, also this fish is going to be important later, but like just spoilers. We're giving a fish. A fish? Yeah, he's going to be our mascot. Hey, this is the mascot for our run. He's a fish icon. Whoa! You, I missed it. We I got, got we got a I, I wanna, party here. We, yeah, we got a uh, fish. Uh, do we want to name him? Do we have a name for this fish? Hector. We're sprinkles. Gonna Hector the fish. Hector. It's Hector. <laughs> Hector. Well, I'm sorry. Hector okay. sprinkles. Hector sprinkles um, the fish. So no spoilers, but Hector's gonna be with us for the rest of the run. So. Okay, no spoilers, but I mean, I'm guessing that's important. <laughs> Don't know why. As our mascot, he's got a mission. Uh. Oh my god, are you going to pour this in front of the mic? Yeah, so everyone can hear that I'm everyone not some hear faker. Me. <laughs> everyone can hear me as I uh, steal someone's uh, identity. I-, I steal someone's identity in order to get a... Uh... Oh god, is this a double? Oh shit, yeah, that's probably a double, dude. Well, Spencer, thank you. I appreciate I'm, it. <laughs> I'm going to... I stole this guy's identity so I can get another extra. Jesus, fuck, man. What? Are you gonna do that? What? I am of age. <laughs> <laughs> We're all 21. I can make my own choices, and if my choice is to drink during a Legend of Zelda game, then I'm gonna drink. All right, bottoms up. I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry, Ben. I doubted you and your glitch skills. Listen. Oh shit! No, no, we're not doing that. Ah! Ouch! I'm so sorry. It's okay. It you was my, it you, was my idea. You, God, you were terrifying you with that mask. Quick I feel bad, <laughs> and also I'm drinking this so slowly that like. No, it helps. It helps. I appreciate it. No, I, I care for you. Oh uh, shit! Mm-hmm. Hey, so uh, I guess we're back at Woodfall, but we're not going to Woodfall actually. No. No. Where are we going? Get ready for the worst part of any speed run. Okay. Especially in English, because they changed a couple things that make this even more difficult. Well, we'll get to that when we get to that. Spencer, you want to see Lullaby Skip, don't you? Lullaby Skip, Lullaby Skip. So remember when I was talking about grottos and how they're all in the same scene or whatever? Mm -hmm. Fairy fountains are the same way. So, as as we're going to go to a different fairy fountain. So basically the way that they're set up actually is to our right right now, we're in the Woodfall Fairy Fountain. To our right right now is the, uh, that's the Clocktown Fairy Fountain. And to our left is the Snowhead Fairy Fountain, and then it's, you know, as you go on, it just goes down the areas. You're doing stuff. So, what you doing? Uh, we're, we're gonna do a cool, uh, bomb hover out of here. What? Yeah. 
Man, this is crazy. Hey, yo, this is crazy. No, this is the best part when glitches actually start happening. Like, we're just gonna keep hopping over until we. Whoa. Uh, I'm seeing this game in ways it should not be seen. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm just doing these. Think about the people who actually found these things. I mean, how. That's always something I've wondered with, like, glitch speedruns. Like,. How, is that really an accident that happens, or do you just like scour like the map and look for anything that, and then you're like, well, this is doing something. Well, like I with think this, they probably dive into code, right? I guess, uh, there's probably yeah. some amount. Anyway, the the color change, <laughs> the color change. So none of the textures have loaded, but we are in the snowhead uh, fairy fountain now. Oh god, now you're on some acid. And we are going to exit out of the snowhead and immediately turn down left, right. What the fuck? And I'm going to do a really bad pause buffer here, because it's impossible to pause buffer. But basically, I need to get ISG immediately, or else I'm going to get blown off. What's this, ISG? Uh, infinite sword glitch. Because the Whoa! wind is going to fucking blow me off if I don't have ISG right now. Oh my god. So now... You're a genius. <laughs> so we can kind of just make our way over. So the English version here you have to do the pause buffer technique, but in the Japanese version, uh, as long as you're, you can just keep swinging your sword and you'll never fall off a cliff. And technically, it'll take four hours, but you can get up here just by swinging your sword whenever the wind starts blowing. But it'll take you four hours. Uh, four hours is an exaggeration in this game. Oh, okay. Um, so but it'll take you a while. There's a, you don't need to do this with Goron, obviously, because people, you don't need Goron to finish this game in the speed run. But it just makes it much easier to get over this side where you can't be blown off because you'll just be pushing in the mountain. Yeah. So uh, now we just need to uh, climb up here. We gotta get lucky because the gusts of wind are semi semi random in how quickly they start and how quickly they end. It's not like it's not a rhythm. Yeah. I'm so picking up here. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So it's a whole lot of this. This game is fucking crazy, dude. This game is wild. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a lot of this. Uh, Night of the first day. Um, earlier, <laughs> just now. Yeah. Uh, this when, game is. When I remember out getting, this game is such a trip. Yes, we're about halfway through. Whoa, Ben. What? This is this is crazy. You call him a genius, and I think the correct term is. <laughs> It's crazy. Cool. This Jesus. guy's a cheater. This guy sucks. I hate these guys. They ruin everything. But I have ISG, so he eventually gets smacked by uh, the ghost of a sword. The ghost of a sword. <laughs> um, this part is a lot easier to get with the bunny mask, but I couldn't fit it into the routing. Also, occasionally, the wind will blow you onto the exact edge of the ramp, and that's why I have to do hops occasionally, just to get control back, because you will get stuck. It's, it's really weird watching this game um, as you're starting to get into the glitch part of it yeah. really much, because um, I just read the creepypasta of Ben Drowned. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what, you didn't like it? I was... Uh, is Ben Drowned the one with the mask? Yes. Ben Drowned is that. Yeah, except there's, like, two kids from, like, high school who, like, <laughs> there's this one kid, and, like, I was, he was in bands, and he was, like, a grade lower than me, and... The first, he's like, oh, Ben, like, Ben drowned. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a good joke. That was when the first, like, the creepy pasta first actually happened. It was popularized. So that was a thing, you know? Well, I mean, it's fine. You drowned. Exactly. This My name is Ben, shit, you know? and it's the worst possible thing that could have happened to me. Anyway. Hey, are you related to that, Ben? Because you have the same first his name. His brother, in, like, a Colin Creevy, like, younger brother-esque way, where they're the exact same person, essentially... Um, like, he first met me and he's like, oh, like, Ben drowned and I actively wanted to die. Oh my god, this was... is a good cheat. Yeah. So you don't have to do the stupid roll jump. Which everyone always fails at at least once. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm gonna do this dungeon entirely without, uh, Goron. Because all speedruns do that. It probably, because I have Goron, it would be faster to use it. But I'm cool. So you are cool. I got to about the time that I need to be, which is why I'm reinverting time, because I still need to get back to Clock Town by like eleven o'clock. Or and else you're gonna get in trouble with the folks. And it's like eight. So I was telling Dan on the drive over here, but Spencer and uh, audience, uh, fans, friends, <laughs> Snowhead has a lot of weird places for hookshot stuff. 
Like, yeah, you, like you just hooked onto that torch right there. Yeah, and I'm going to hit exactly one pixel on this torch up here eventually. And just <laughs> skip. Because right here, on that ledge right above us, if you play the Scarecrow song, there'll be a Scarecrow there. But this is a dungeon that you are supposed to play. Oh my god! In normal progression, <laughs> you're supposed to get... You're supposed to do this dungeon before you get the hook shot. Got some so magic. So there's a ton of hook shot stuff in this dungeon, and it's all specifically just for fairy hunting. Really? Yeah. Oh. Because like uh, the fairy, stray fairies in this game are one of the best things that they should bring back to other Zelda games that they won't. Why um, not? Why? Why do you think that they won't have it? Just because uh, the time time cycle thing is so specific to what makes stray fairies good, I think. Hmm. Spencer. What I, I was asking Ben this as well, and we were talking about this, but we can discuss it for our, for our friends out there. Yeah. Um, is this your favorite uh, Legend of Zelda This is my favorite um, video game. This is your favorite video game? Yes. Of all That's time. insane. That is a, that is, uh, that, it is a strong contender for mine, yeah. but I have no idea. I would say my favorite Legend of Zelda game is uh, Wind Waker. Just so I, I haven't, that's the other thing, is I've only played you this played and Ocarina really. of Time and uh, Breath of the Wild and a bit of uh, Drink of the Past. Wait, you've never played Wind Waker? I've never played Wind Waker. Oh, I think you'd love it. Yeah. I still think you, I don't know. Wind Waker has such a good aesthetic and just feel to it. Yeah. Like it, you would probably like it. And yeah. I mean, like... In the end, like all of the required stuff goes pretty fast, so I don't even know why people come back game super long. Especially the HD version where they got rid of most of the TDM. And Ben, this is your favorite version of Zelda game, right? It is currently. My favorite like is said, Skyward Sword. It off. is the best. Guys, Skyward Sword, let's talk about why Skyward Sword is the best Legend of Zelda game. No other Legend of Zelda games have motion controls. End of argument. I mean, what else do you need? Twilight, <laughs> Twilight Princess Wii <laughs> has some current control. motion. <laughs> Actually, uh, the, this the, the, both of the 3D versions of this game have bow motion controls, which are pretty cool. I mean, what well, did you see that backwalk? I backwalk from the chest because I did this part so many fucking times that I got good at it. <laughs> Oh, look at look at what Ben's about to do. Look, hit, get that get that oh, sweet pixel. The right other there. the other thing about the Wii U is that the controller stick is so non sensitive and then completely too sensitive. Uh -huh. So like half of the restarts of this are just like the hook shot flew wildly out of control and it was probably just Margaret to start over to look good. I'm just gonna hop up here. Oh my just god, a little bit of hopping. This, this reminds me of a glitch that you can uh, use in. Uh, Game Grumps actually showed me this, uh, Sonic Boom. Oh, yeah, they patched that out immediately. Oh, they patched that out? <laughs> yeah. Not... It, it, it's a glitch where basically if you if he, pause yeah, while he... jumping and keep doing that, you can jump infinitely up and get yeah. over any obstacle. That's then, awesome. Then, yeah, there, there was a playthrough of I watched where they were playing Sonic Boom and their thing is just playing really bad games and being really positively, like, making fun of it. Talk about a broken game, though. <laughs> oh my god. But like, literally they got so tired of the game that they just did that glitch and got to the end so they could call it done. <laughs> it was awesome. Just to finish it. So this one's a really easy skip. It's like, it's a weird recoil flip, but you kind of just need to be pushed backwards so that you, you can, can get behind the door there. Yeah, if you get pushed backwards enough into that corner, if you're holding right, it, you'll just jump behind the door. Oh my god. Are you already on the next boss? Yeah. Great. Was I supposed to give a guess? Oh, did we do a timer on this one? We did not. No. Did not. I'm sorry. You, did, you, did a, you already did. You did double. We'll count it for both. You do? <laughs> yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> because you know you're going to lose. I might take another shot just because I'm a drinker. Drinker. <laughs> oh, it's Goat. Goat. Uh, goat, <laughs> which is the best boss ever. Also, it's got it's got a really cool... Uh, this is a really cool trick to do it really quickly. Hmm. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim at it. We're gonna see if I can hit him once. Okay. There you go. Hop to the side and get back behind cover, because he'll stop shooting with lasers. And you like shoot him five times, and you hop out again, so he doesn't start running away. And now we're just gonna hit him nine more times. And you just keep doing this. We hit him nine times now, so that he'll start running towards us. And on the ninth time, the cutscene will have him running towards us. So the end point of this boss will be right next to us, and all this stuff will load right next to us, so you don't have to move anymore. Oh my god. Yeah. So you hit him one, five, nine, and that's how you do it. It's really hard to actually aim at him and then not get hit. <laughs> but, like, that's a really cool, consistent way, and 
the first time I did it was a complete accident. Well, there goes Goat. All right. There he is. He's done. He, now he you're it. just somebody that I used to <laughs> That's Goatee, but whatever. Go- Gautier. Gautier? So, they had one song. They, <laughs> they, they did a song. There, there are ways to skip every single cutscene except the first Othor cutscene. Fucking bubbles! All these giant cutscenes, there's four of them, they're after every boss. You only, you, well, you have to watch the first one because the first one will give you the song and none of the others will give you the song and you need the song to beat the game. Guardians. Yeah, you need the song to beat the game. protective gods, that's why you're in the temple, Boba. Uh, we're, these are, these No, are, wait, are you listening to me? Hey, wait. Oh, man, we, we don't have sound <laughs> high, but like the, I think it's the third or last cutscene here. There's like a quote where like, Oh, uh, my bits are freezing. My friend died. <laughs> he's fine. Look. The weather stops and immediately unfreezes. Like, it's insane. You don't think they look like Shrek? I, I think they kind of look dude, like Dude, it's Shrek. Shrek. It's so Shrek. They, no, Shrek looks like them. They <laughs> came first. <laughs> <They> came first. <laughs> Who came first? Shrek or the Goron? <laughs> Shrek was like 2001. This is like... Ni- this is 2000. But I thought Shrek was... And like... Ocarina of Time was 2008, uh, 1998. So... Now it's all warm. A tree grew. No, yeah, because even though this is mountain, <laughs> that's the thing. It's been like a week since the snow showed up. So like, you know how the temple, uh, the 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 water temple in Ocarina of Time is like, you know, classic. It's like it is ritualistic. It is like stone masonry. Yeah. And this one was metal pipes clanking. Rawr, that bro. This one, the, the the fire temple is a volcano, and this one is a frozen mountain. Like they are dreamlike versions of each other. Mm-hmm. It's down so a, good. Right down the forest temple, right. the forest. It's a swamp, which is also a very uh, naturalistic place. Um, down, down, and I kind of. You sound just um, like a flute. It's the freaking Game of Thrones, guys. The the, the uh, <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> Spirit temple and stone temple are uh, the same, and that. Spirit Temple, <laughs> half of the dungeon's done as a kid and half of the dungeon is done as an adult. I'm sorry, and, I just saw the frog just go, woo, after you tried to put it away. I wish Don Gero was one of the things I had. The frog done. mission is really good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Saving all the frogs. Yeah, Stone Tower. You invert Stone Tower, so you do half the dungeon right side up and half of it upside down, and that corresponds to having to do half the dungeon as a the kid. Spirit Temple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, it's gonna, a dream world. It's a dream world. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you for some Spencer and Ben time. It's be, okay. Be right back. It's be okay. Right we're, back. I'll be right back. Don't we're, worry. It's we're okay. We're just we're just furthering the uh, Andrew Cafe quest and getting a hundred more dollars. That was in this room that we stole someone's identity to get. Right. I still have two hours. I'm doing. Oh, right. I'm I'm doing the clip now. I need to get bombs first though. I am wasting time. In game time, it really fucks you in this game. <laughs> in game time, it really fucks you. Also, because we never talked to that Deku guy, I have to avoid him at all costs whenever I run through this <laughs> oh, area. Right. If I get too close, the whole cutscene of him flying down <laughs> with his wife and stuff. He's like, oh, I gotta move out. My wife says we gotta move, but like, I really like this property. And then you trade him a rock, and he's like, oh shit. Here. Have a deed, and then you give that deed to a guy in the toilet, and then and you, you pass the deed around. No, toilet. you give the guy, you give the deed to the guy in the toilet, and that's just efficient. And you get a piece of art. Yeah, I mean that's what you do in the first. Like you can't do anything in the first cycle as a Deku, but you can give the deed to the guy in the toilet. So if you're being efficient with your time in a normal run, you're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna give him the deed here and never have to deal with him again. Mm-hmm. In in the run that I recorded before this one, uh, in the Andrew Cafe quest, you know how you get the letter to Mama or whatever? I didn't give it to her, but I have to give it to her in this one to get a mask. <laughs> but in that game, I was uh, the joke was, the last thing I do right before I finish the game is giving the letter of Mama to the guy in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That was my joke. Anyway, uh, we're clipping into the ground. So oh, we, so we're doing a big clip on this one. Uh, we are. We clipped into the back because it was easier than getting a fake ID for this bar. And uh, now we're just gonna. We're going to. But oh, you are doing the band one. We're doing the band one just because I have time and it's easier than going. You know. You have time. 
I time. This is a speed run. You have no time. No, no, no. I in-game need... time, dog. In-game time. I have to waste time because is this either... karaoke night. Yes, actually. <laughs> um, because Andrew's like, hey, meet me in the kitchen at like eleven, but she takes an hour to walk down the hall, so you actually have to get there at like twelve. So I have like an hour to kill before I can talk to her. To continue the Angie Cafe quest. Oh, it's Luigi. It's it's Luigi's brother. We're gonna get his face right now. <laughs> so we got. Uh, I I love the Mario and Luigi like so <laughs> representatives. If I was screen. cool, I would have done this in the first like that original cycle when I got the bomb mask. But that would have required me to get all the Deku things. Ben, also, you're, you're sending me mixed signals. You're saying you're cool and you're saying you're not cool. Like, listen, I'm. I really cool. think you need to stop criticizing yourself. I'm all about. Constructive criticism towards myself. <laughs> give me all. Give me all. I want all. that self-esteem up by tomorrow. Benjamin. Yo, I'm all about self-esteem. My name is. My middle name is self-esteem. Benjamin self-esteem. Uh, <laughs> you know, we won't say the last name. No. Benjamin self-esteem Don't streamer. Don't dox me, <laughs> Mr. YouTube. Benjamin self-esteem, Mr. YouTube. <laughs> also, all one, all one name. Um. That, that clip I didn't think was going to go as well, so I forgot to make a, a save state or <laughs> play into the bar. So this is really done really shoddily. Like, I fucked up the Deku one, and I just played the Zoro one super slow because I never, I don't do this, ever. Yeah, this is the worst American Idol presentation I've ever seen. <laughs> America's Got Talent has really gotten through the Look, whole... there's Simon right now. <laughs> Simon's like, Absolutely. Absolutely. that's exactly terrible. what he's doing. <laughs> it's freaking Randy Johnson. He's like, that's going to be yeah. enough for me. The, 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 fish, the fish guy is Randy Johnson because he says, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> and then Mr. Circus Dude is over here is like, fuck that shit. Ah, uh, down. Ah. Uh, right. <laughs> Um, while playing songs in this game, it really only affects you with the devil song at time. But How like, is it that you're here? Like, you're all over the it's, stage. It's a sound test, so you're kind of just recording all the separate Also, you are in a dream. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah anything can happen. happen. Anything you're not in a possible. dream. The director says that this game isn't a dream, even though literally everything in the game contradicts that statement, including <laughs> all four of the biomes having a hard-cut transition. Listen, I asked Reggie... Yeah. And he said it wasn't a dream, so... I hear some music. What? <laughs> just Reggie was like so CEO of Domino's at this point or something. I don't know. Here, take my face. Yeah, he got his face. And I think, yeah, we have... Uh, I wasted a lot less in-game time than I thought it would, so I guess we're just going to hang out in the kitchen. Awesome. Also, outside right now is the Goron that we stole the identity of. Someone's in the kitchen with Goron. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so devastating. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, did everyone just watch that one? Oh, okay, yeah, you yeah. can just hop I, over that. You mean I watching mean, you some sick too, for sure, but... Yeah. Here's me well, waiting. Ben's always trying to be here's a cool Look at how slow oh, she is. Hello. She literally... It's because of the inverts on No, it's baby, not. Baby. I'm currently fast. Look how fast that sun is moving. I, I'm currently in normal time. Oh, shit. That she just true. walks so slowly. It takes, like I said, it takes an hour oh, to get down this hall. Gotta go get the flowers. She said, hey, meet me in the back kitchen at 11. And it's 12 now. She's casually late and it's fucking ridiculous. You're an hour late, you ho. <laughs> no. Andrew's I live in a Sweden. fantastical world She's of magical perfect. creatures. and I just Sorry, Andrew of, is a wholesome uh, woman. She she you call her a hoe. She, she's, oh, the, she's the cock, she's the cock lady in <laughs> Ocarina of Time. She's the she's, sorry, she's a cock? She's the cock lady in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> she is. That's... In her downtime. <laughs> she's, she's a cock in the <laughs> She's the cock lady who's allergic to cocks. Oh, we're, we're getting a little rowdy. I've, I've had a few RC I've calls. Had, I've <laughs> had a few RC calls. In this like hour and a half that we've been recording, I've had exactly half a cider. I'm, it's pretty good. I'm the only one drinking here, and it makes me think that you guys That's are you've had, like, two me up to this. this is my third. That's your third? Yeah, dude. That's okay. Once that's this that's is your done, third I don't know if we Dr. Got Pepper. Away, but I can drink Dr. Pepper like it's my job. Now. Yeah. Dr. That's, Pepper. I mean, no, I didn't say Dr. King Pepper. Of I said Dr. Pip. Who, who agrees? King of Sodas, Dr. Pepper? Uh, King of Beers, Budweiser, of course. Yeah. Oh, God, it's the best beer. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with it. Here's what it is. King of Beers, <laughs> Champagne of Beers, Miller Highlight. Yeah. Uh, King of Sodas. Sodas. 
It's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. He's a doctor. It's, it's kind of doctorate. He's it's, in... it's Big Y, Stover, and Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pip. I know Listen, that we, I know that he we went talking to, about He went to soda school for eight damn years. You're going to listen to him. Soda school. It's like a branch of Four years of residency. Let's play a fun game. Oh, so this is a sick glitch. I'd like to... Yeah, I'm just, I just hopped up, and now I'm just going to walk around. I used really one just more... clipping through walls. I, I just used one more chew than I needed to. I could have done a cool roll with Azora, but I could never get it to work. What, 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 kind of, what was that thing called with the bomb that you used? Um, a chew. A chew. It's a bomb, bomb chew. chew. This bomb cuck thing is like really like. Working I fucking out. love <laughs> bomb I love, cucks. I love bomb cucks. <laughs> also, we are about like an hour early to this event. An hour early? Yeah. What do you mean? We have to be here at two thirty, and we're currently at one thirty. Well, Ben, you what? know what they say. You arrive on time, you're that late. You arrive your... early, you're on time. Huh? Horse? Isn't that your horse? Yeah. Is he pony? Here's the second time. He was like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> this weird guy. Anyway. Donkey! <laughs> you guys are donkey. I can't believe we're going we're gonna to devolve into Shrek memes. It's great. <laughs> it's Shrek and donkey, you guys. Keep dabbing me swamp. It's the most Shrek fashion I've ever done. What yeah, are you swamp? doing in my swamp? <laughs> If also, you had a chance to change your swamp, would you? <laughs> I can't believe you're getting Braid in this. I've, I've never actually seen Braid. That's what I just called it Braid and you didn't even... Braid! Braid! <laughs> Snoop Dogg's favorite video game. Was Yo, it Snoop? Who no, was? it was, it was uh, Wait, Shul- Crank Your Ch- Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy's favorite video game. Is a video game? No, it's called Braid. We played it together. He did, he did like a camcorder LP of like... Braid a is, a, is a is a is an indie game that you mess with time in a bunch. Oh, that's Remember right. That it's like set? black and white or like... It's like... Well, yeah, when you're going back in time, it turns black and white, doesn't it? Sure. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so, Soldier Boy loves that video game. Really? Yes, he was like publicly like Braid is the greatest video game ever, and that's why I got popular. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Soldier Boy. Had Seriously, to do so he, he he got to like the first real time he had to do the time that he's like, look at this shit. He looks like some dog. He's got like a he's got a comb. Like what the fuck? And look what you can do. You can just turn back time. You can be hidden this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Those are all weird quotes. I'm just guessing. Soldier boy, <laughs> soldier boy. Been this is the big oh. one. Everyone forgets about that guy. That's the one that always fucks you. Are you fighting aliens right now? Yeah, there's aliens invading. <laughs> well, yeah, because I mean, why would the aliens ever come from behind? There's one guy there. Aliens never come from behind, um, damn you. There's a dog who will bark always at the closest one. You just gotta hit him with arrows, and they always just constantly drop arrows. Oh, Ben, you missed one. That's fine. It's impossible to aim. It's with fine. Students. Sorry, is it fine? Just, Ben, you really do That's not just teleporting right now. I'm sorry, but that's not just teleporting. Is there? Wait. Okay. What? No, what? there isn't. Are okay. you dying? I always wonder if there was a crosshair when you're aiming. It, no. It's kind of like if you take where the arrow is and where that little twig is, and like just where that where ends, like the, it meets. where where that intersection would be. That's kind of where it is. Okay. That's how I'm, I'm I always I always had such a hard time with shooting arrows in this game when I played it. Yeah. Back when I was maybe Ooh, the, the big, 14? So the big thing about this is the latest you can be uh, get here without fucking up is like 3.30 actually. But also, you only have to hit these guys once after it turns 4 o'clock because then they just not, don't have enough time. Wait, I just remembered something. Yeah. Do you do the dog race in this? No. What? I don't need... The that's... dog race! I love the dog race! Why do you skip everything we love? <laughs> because, one, that doesn't give me a mask, and two, it's just a heart piece. It doesn't matter. It's a, it's a jaunt of a good time. I would have... I have to... In order to do that efficiently, I would have to do the spider swamp house. And I don't want to do... Also, swamp what, spider what is the deal with these aliens? What are um, they, they're, they're, they're gonna... They're, they're trying to abduct the cows. They come, like, every year... Right are they before. actually aliens? Yes. <laughs> they live in the land are. of magic and. If you fail this, the a giant laser comes down into the barn behind you, and you see the cows in Romani get abducted. Wow, <laughs> that's really kind of funny. To me. No, that's why I, I always do this event right before in that last cycle before I finish the game. I beat all the bosses. I do this and I do Andrew Cafe. Thanks for saving our farm. Here's <laughs> some milk. Here's some milk. Here's one bottle of milk. We're saving our farm from an alien. No, it's that's, that's well two drinks. drinks. That's two drinks. That's you can drink that milk twice. What is milk? How many, milk? How many hearts does milk give you? I have no idea. Technically, you could drink any volume of milk. It's twice. I think it's Depending either four or eight. Are. It's four or eight. It's one of those two. Look it up on Zeldapedia. I'm not doing that. Why not? 
Is it because you don't care? We gotta be fucking. We're on the second day. We are on the spot right now. We need to. Our, our friends out there we're need on, to know what we're talking we're, about. We're, we've got two days left. Oh shit. And it is getting down to the wire. We are on dawn of the second day, and now I'm doing a fucking backwalk, baby. God, I love that dog. Hey, baby. I love Scotty dogs. So you're thing, going probably, to the, the, chick, the chick one right now, yeah. Probably my favorite dogs are Scotty dogs. They're all Scotty dogs in this one. What are you guys' favorite dogs? Um, wiener dogs. Love, wiener dogs? Love me a wiener dog. I love me a good palm or a corgi. A palm or a corgi? Why do you like... Wait, wait. What? We all like really small dogs, and I just realized that. I do not like wiener dogs. Why do you like them? I like wiener dogs uh, because I met a really good wiener dog once. That's really it. <laughs> his, name was, his name was Conrad. He was amazing. In, uh, to be fair, in concept, wiener dogs are awesome. In concept. In concept, I mean. So listen, think about. Here's two words I would like to say. Like the look of them. Listen, I will. I'll say two words. They'll say on weird dogs. You say a lot of words. Long boys. Long boys. (laughs) I love me some long boys. Pomeranians. Spencer, right here and there. Long Long boys. boys. Corgis are sassy boys. I'm gonna get. You've heard this before, I'm sure. I'm gonna get a dog that's gonna be a wiener dog, and I'm gonna. Wait, you're gonna get a dog? Um, No, no, I mean, in the future, sometime. In the future, wiener dog, and I'm gonna name him Carrot. Carrot. <laughs> Carrot's a good dog. Carrot dog. She named him Kakarot. And you like you like corgis. I love me a good corg. I mean, I've never I've never met a, a corgi. I love me a good cow herding dog. And I and I actually mean anyway, I've never actually look at all these Whoa. cucks. They're growing up. Look at the cucks. <laughs> that that's really weird. That's how it actually Damn, happens. You know that as someone that's had chickens in the past, that's how. That's how it is. Is a little poop. It's a little poop. You collect ten of them by playing a song while marching around, and they just poof as soon as you get all ten of them following you, conga line style. I love the bunny hood. I've been thinking of starting a metal band soon with these cocks. What do you think? <laughs> we're we're gonna like mostly mostly do like Metallica tributes, <laughs> but on only the Legend of Zelda, only on horns, ocarinas, guitars, and drum uh, and bongos. Those are the only. <laughs> that's gonna be our Metallica. As the metal band. as the only instruments that exist in this world. Yeah. <laughs> Just one horn with five different, like, horns, like, bells. Is that what it's called? You did trumpet. Is that what it's called? The bell of the horn is the, like, the flared part? You're right. It is called the bell. Yeah, fucking killing it. Tell me, tell me a little bit about... Oh, wind, Spencer wind, here wind is a Trump savant. Uh, sure. sure. <laughs> big, big Trump supporter. I, I can play every single Love woodwind. Love trumpets. I can play every single woodwind, win, but I know nothing about brass instruments. W- would you say that Trump supporters are called Trump? Oh, guys, guys, I named this part of the file 69 because I got exactly 69 rupees for a very specific reason. Why is that, Ben? So Tell us. <laughs> if... So the way rupees and buying things work in this game is that if you're able to... If you're able to try to buy another uh, item before it hits 40, you can actually get uh, a second uh, round of bomb shoes for a discounted price, technically. So you steal. I, I, you, and so what you're, you're doing you're is not stealing. only you're cheating, you're stealing from these nice I, people. I, I, you're not only cheating the game, right. but you are stealing from these and 60, whole, 69 individuals. And it wasn't just any number. 69 is actually the lowest amount you can do. <laughs> that, that is the lowest amount you can do that trick with. Is 69 rupees. Really? Yes. Like, unironically, like, actually, that is the lowest number of rupees you can do that. You know, someone in Nintendo was like, here, let me just... <laughs> <laughs> someone was just like... <laughs> was hey, what's that on my right C, C button right Are now? you already here? It, it's it, Look at that on my right C button. Is that Hector? Hector! Hector Sprinkles! We're, we're, this we're, isn't water? What are you doing? Uh, we're, just, we're picking it back up, don't worry. Why? Why'd you do that? So I need to get the bottle in my hand so I can do this, which is another time stop thing. <laughs> so and you take him out so you're like, I have Wait, this is it's, it's Hector. Yeah, so that's why we... You already missed Hector, you that, that, it. Okay, well that's Hector. Out. Hector's useless to ride that block. If so you, you skipped all the eulogy stuff. Right? Yes. Wow. I am gonna have so many. Wait, shots. is Hector dead? Is Hector dead? No, Hector. We're, we're gonna keep Hector. Oh, Stone Tower Temple. Sorry, I'm gonna start it. Oh, uh, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. gonna add five that. seconds to that because it matters yeah. to me. Okay. How long I'm, do you think this is gonna take? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna guess uh, four minutes. Four minutes. I'm going low. Four minutes is the guess on this one. I'm going, going low, low for this one because damn. Well, hey, listen. Why go low when you go high? Yeah. Well, if I go high, then I get to drink. And then we get to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did the weed thing. So if you if you enter this room like on the farthest left you can and then immediately drop a bomb, you can clip 
through the wall as mm -hmm. Zora by getting hit with the bomb. Okay, Ben, you don't you don't have to tell me exactly what happens with this one, but are there glitches that you exploit in all the temples? I mean, yeah. Great. Okay, well, I'm gonna drink a lot. <laughs> None of them are as egregious as uh, as Great Bay. Okay, like, that was that was the biggest. You do one. have to play a certain amount of the rest of the dungeons. <laughs> That's the only one that you can skip from room one. I love I love the water animation while you're swimming. Oh yeah, they're great. Like, Wait, is this the one where you need to get the shield? The do you get the? Uh, I don't need. No, to that's get, that's not until you don't here. get the mirror the mirror shield. You don't because I don't need to do any light things. What? Wait, do you fight the skeleton boss? No, I don't. But I love that boss. He's I know. My favorite boss. I know it's great. Oh, but the two skellies is a good boss. In the, they're all just like. <laughs> it is a great boss because you can <laughs> you can do the thing that we just grew up the cucks with. If you wear that mask, <laughs> if, if you use cuts. that mask, the two knights will follow you around and like, like, march to the beat. I'm really? Gonna, yeah. As an, just like an Easter egg, you can hit him once, and I don't think it works again after that. But like, next time I talk about yeah. chickens, I'm gonna accidentally call them cucks because I talk about chickens so often. So, in my life, you know. one of the <laughs> we all have chickens. No, actually, my new apartment that I'm moving to has cucks. It has in cucks. The backyard. Whoa! The, 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 How many cucks you got? I haven't seen that. It's got the room where I want to guess like maybe five. Probably cuts. five, at least five cucks. At least five. It's, yeah. it's got the room where we can sing the Halo theme in, and it's got cucks. What <laughs> else could he ask for? You got some cucks that lay some edges. <laughs> so one of the problems with playing the English version is I can't do a specific trick called the weird shot. You got a mouse there. Uh, that's that's a real bomb shoe that only exists in Termina. Oh. It, it just blows up. It, oh. it suicide bombs uh, you, really. Okay. Well, Are you already at the boss? No, this is the mini boss. Okay. This is to get the light arrows. So, like, how have we done? That? Ooh, look the at that. The Garrow Master? Blur. For whatever reason, um, <laughs> he just hops towards you. Oh, <laughs> uh, this dude rules. <laughs> this is a pretty tough boss. You can't have my clock. I'm gonna be mask. honest, I got my ass kicked by him. But like um, seriously, this boss is hard. Yeah. Um, that room where I had to do backflips over the uh, like mm -hmm. the sun block, like it, that room is so fucking annoying that I didn't want to do it again, so I just kept this tape. All right. I mean, did you do this? No. Oh, I just okay. I just I got hit a lot. You got hit. I got hit to the point where I should have used uh, I should have used a death warp, but I didn't. You should have used that sweet milk that you got. No. So like the real pros would take damage as they go through each of these dungeons. So whenever they get to a place where they need to like teleport back to the beginning of the dungeon, they would just take damage as they're opening a chest. So they die as soon as it, like the animation finishes, and they get brought back to the beginning. Of the oh my god, he just explodes! No, all these gar all the garrows they they <laughs> disappear in a flash of smoke. No, they bomb. They kill themselves. They what? bomb. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's they disappear in a flash of smoke. No, they, they he pulls out a bomb and fucking dies. What? Okay. And if you, you were to kill yourself, and you can not only, that you should. You, like, can, I mean, you, you can only encounter. Each why would you go with a bomb? All, all the garrows all over Iconic Canyon that give you hints. You can only encounter them once per cycle, so they do kill themselves. Mm. The well, hu the humane way to go through this is actually to do the thing that I do and then just beat all the bosses in the last cycle and just never encounter any of them. Okay, I gotta say, looking at the game now, because it's been a while since I've seen this game. Sure. Alright, it's it's not aged well in Whoa! terms of how it looks. <laughs> but I will say, I will say before you before you roast me. Um, <laughs> Look at the menu management though. <laughs> You're all about that menu management. <laughs> um, I mean, I still, like, watching it still, it brings back a lot of memories of so much fun trying to figure this shit out. Obviously, I didn't do this bullshit. That <laughs> <laughs> but, like, we don't have the LG emptiness, so there's a block covering the, si the, the, like, the light arrow thing that we need to hit, so we have to actually get behind it. <laughs> All I'm saying is I would love to see this game redone and maybe, like, brought up to, like, uh... You mean Majora's Mask 3D on the 3DS? Yeah, but like better. <laughs> have you played the the one with 3DS? It's pretty I have good. Not, it, I have not. They redid that like, most right? of the character models and uh, everyone. It looks a lot. I don't know. I don't want to say better. Like cause the game is virtually the same. Yeah. But it, it's sort of like like you see the angles on the shield. Like those aren't there. Okay, so it's a little bit more rounded. Yeah. It's okay. the it's the up res. They just use all the assets from Ocarina of Time 3D. 
and stuff like that. Mm. It's it's just one of those things where, um, yeah, I don't, it, it, it ends up having such, it, it, it is cohesive in its design, which makes it, like, look better than a lot of other stuff. And, like, all the textures are, per like, I mean, that one was really low well res, but, like, they do try to make them as just, like, stone. Not so hexagonal. Yeah, they, they try to... Um, Ocarina of Time does a lot of cool things, and obviously Major Mask does it with, like, just the weird shader that the N64 had that makes it look better than other things. Well, that was a cool little cheat you just did. Yeah, you can, use, you can use the sword to recoil backwards while you're floating. Well, shit, Ben, I think we're already over, like, four minutes, so I think I'm already losing... Six, 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 ten is over. So I already lost because I, I, I thought you were, you were gonna do it a lot faster. <laughs> no, nope. this is hard. It's hard to guess with you. I know. You just fought RoboCop there, and we, we, we fought the guy from RoboCop who shoots the guy a lot, and they're like, <laughs> "Well, this is still fine to use." I think that's the lesson of RoboCop. Now, the only, I, I, I haven't beaten every Legend of Zelda game. <clears throat> But I played almost every single one except for Skyward Sword, the best one. And, uh. <laughs> Wait, and, and you haven't played Skyward Sword? No, I've only seen it. I've, I've oh only my seen God. the game. I've never played the game, actually. Why? What? <laughs> Am I missing out? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> and I've also. I've never played Breath of the Wild either. Breath of the Wild's great. Breath of the Wild is a good, good game. You've beaten it, right? I've beaten it. What? Yeah, that's right. I have, uh. I mean, I haven't run it, obviously. And who's got time for that? I mean, nobody's got time I think for the that speed run for 100% is like 26 hours. Yeah, it's oh yeah. It is unnecessary. Look at all those hearts. Those are unnecessary. That's like my favorite speed run. My favorite speed run is of a Pokemon Stadium 2, and I haven't watched the whole thing because it's like 22 hours long, but the guy has a webcam in like the bottom left hand corner, and you can only see kind of his head because he's in a big beanbag chair, and you can just see the windows behind him, and the sun goes down and comes back up over the course oh of the Oh my god! Hours. And I'm just like, this is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> so this is a trick that, um, the timing for the bomb recoil thing is not super tight. You can flip it pretty much any time, but you have to go exactly backwards or else you can't Oh do my that. god, and here we are in the land of gray. <laughs> yeah. There was another way, if I, so in that first room, if I went left instead of right, you can also do a bomb. That was the old boss key skip before people figured out this one. But that one basically, you end up just like... Oh my god, this guy looks Yo, awesome. this boss is tight. Or we're like already it's, here? It's too old. Old. So, Twin here's a weird thing about this boss fight. Uh, both those are weak to a specific type of arrow. The what blue, type? The blue is weak to uh, fire, and the red is weak to um, ice. Oh, nice bomb throw. And they both do... So, like, basically, a normal hit would do one. Let's say that. Light arrows on both of them do two. And the weak arrow they're weakest to do four. So we only have to hit this guy like three times with the fire arrows. And he already got two. Uh, and the bomb counts as one. So <laughs> well then, okay. I'm getting a lot of Shadow of the Boss vibes from these So this one, do you have the mask? You have no. the big boy mask? You don't. It is a lot more. The big boy mask. <laughs> it is, you get a big boy, the giant's mask. It is actually a lot more consistent to just do the bow than to deal with the. Big boy mask. It's the weird. Big boy mask is the whole point of this fight. It, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't get any of the cool stuff uh, from 3D. There goes my head. There's no like spinning around with one to hit the other or whatever is in 3D that I read about but haven't seen. So anyway, now uh, I did that one, the, the blue one, really well. You killed my twin. And now this one's gonna take probably twice as long because not only is, is he going faster, but this does less damage and. As soon as I run out of uh, magic, I'm going to have to just shoot normal arrows at him. I just, are you saying that because that's what happened? That's what is going to happen and uh, what okay. will normally happen. Because, okay. like, you can re refill magic, but it requires these guys to smash into a rock, and then for you to walk out on the stand, which makes you not only walk slower, but more likely for them to jump up right below you. It just takes more time. It, 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 is, it is so much faster to just hit him with normal arrows. Because one, well, if you can hit him with your magic arrows, then jeez. Listen, that, it, this is one of those things where every single time I've recorded this fight, it was always the blue one went super, just so great that it was worth keeping in this really bad red one because it went so fast. 
You like you haven't been in the one that passed before. <laughs> Uh, where, where are you exactly? How did uh, you get here? Uh, you fell down a hole. I know. You, <laughs> no, you glitched. It. It's an underground <laughs> desert, dude. It's in an the, underground desert, of course. In, I forgot. I mean, in the game, you literally jump down a hole and appear here, and it's just—it's a fade to black, and then you're standing on this little pedestal. Right. Like, even in the normal game, it, it, there's no explanation as to where this is. Because also, this is inverted stone tower, so this is up in the sky. Like, wait, what? This game is trippy. This game makes you feel like you're on LSD. Not that I've ever done that. Well, not that I've ever done that. Wait, we've yeah, all done I... LSD every day of our oh lives, God. okay? Yeah, crack LSD. Crack, crack LSD. That's right, I've smoked crack all slash. the... I have injected all the LSD after smoking it. Yes. You smoke it, blow the smoke into a little syringe, and, and then inject I, that into your And then I inject the oxygen into my veins, killing me instantly. Yes. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a great way to get high. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's it. Uh, so, you know, death, it's great. Anyways, <laughs> Anyways there goes the good one. He's dead. No, 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 no. You, you, you hit you me, you hit me. Yeah, I can't believe you hit me. I'm gonna start to explode <laughs> soon. There I go. Except for my head. Yeah. And now you got the weird mask. And a heart. Awesome. <laughs> So, so that uh, took uh, a hot 11 minutes and 55 seconds. Oh, shit, I was actually really close. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... I was close to the first guess. Yeah. And I'm just going to uh, say it because I'm not, not going to do it. Another thing you can do with the fish is using that time stop thing. If you were to say, uh, find, get, a, get near a chest that has uh, a heart piece in it, uh, there's a cutscene that will play when you're opening it up. And if you're in time stop mode, that cutscene doesn't play, but you still get the heart piece out. And you can keep opening up that chest and get unlimited heart pieces as long as you're in time stop. Help our friendlies. Do we go to friendlies? Would, you, uh, would anyone, uh, what? one question, would anyone like to go to uh, friendlies and get a good munchie meat? I'd like to get a two for six. Yeah. Two for six, yes, yeah, <laughs> with that. Um, everyone would like a Sunday, yes? Yeah, yeah, I would like I, I want the one that looks like a clown. Yeah, I would like the one that has a face on it. Give me a Sunday that looks like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Drunkenly enter the friendlies. Give me a Sunday. I want it to look like a clown. Speaking of drunkenly, I was gone. Here we go. Oh my god. What? Damn, 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 damn. I am not going to be called a liar damn, and a damn, cheater damn, like damn, you damn, were damn, last damn. week. I can't believe this. <laughs> Are these all doubles? Damn, they damn, just damn, look damn. Like... You don't have to do that. I know I don't. Damn, that's so <laughs> fucking much. It's not a lot. It's fine. It's fine. Listen, Dan's it's... just having a little too all much RC Cola. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it's just a lot of soda. Yeah, it's gonna it's, keep me it's up this, at night. It's not RC Cola. It's this Russian brand. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called uh, New Amsterdam RC Cola. Ah! I spilled it on my pants. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna smell like vodka. Wait, hang on. I mean, it. RC Cola. You're gonna smell <laughs> what like, am I talking about? You're gonna smell like ethanol and it's gonna fucking yeah. smell. Alright. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! Okay. Don't, don't Snapchat this secret recording. It's all secret. No one can know about this. Absolutely no one is aware of our secret recording. <laughs> this is a good snap. Uh, the Majora's Mask snap. done casually quickly. This <laughs> is. Anyways, you can all catch us at uh, Snapchat. Catch us, catch us on uh, Snapchat. Majora's Mask Snap. That's that's the name. Um, <laughs> Check I, out that. I'm Isn't Applebee's it? on Instagram. <laughs> Applebee's restaurants. Represent. You're the representative of Applebee's. Oh, hey, oh, you're going so fast with those. Yeah, buttons. your bunny ears are great. And also, you can do this, Spencer. You can backflip over this kid. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Does an angel kid going to stop you? <laughs> that fucking kid. <laughs> He's like, give me the code, oh. and I'm like, uh, no, fuck off. Oh my god, okay. I, a lot of, a lot of caffeine. A lot of caffeine in that RC Cola. Yep. Really strong RC Cola. I right think there. maybe you should take a break. Look, yeah. it's, it, no, we just got to some Skulltellas. I can't believe we haven't seen them yet. Skulltellas. What do you yeah. call them? Skulltellas. Skulltellas? I call them, I call them, yeah. I call them, <laughs> I call them <laughs> novellas. Skulltellas. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Oh my god, I want to fucking die. It's okay, Ben. It's okay. We're just a little Ooh. bunny. 
he's going I recorded action. this during the Sony E3 conference. <laughs> you were watching Sony E3 on the I was website. saying, what, what, a, what a conference. I, I was doing this when I, I was also saying, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Why are these two people sitting at a desk and talking casually? Guys, here's what I would like. No one to spoil Last of Us 2 because I'm playing Last of Us 1 right now. I will not. Don't talk to me about the trailer and I haven't watched You it. said this is your favorite game? This awesome. is your favorite video Let me give you game. The Last of Us is my favorite video I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's going to be full of cultural Marxism. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers, but there is going to be a lot of Marxism. Cultural in Marxism. Cult what's Wait, the difference? In the first one? Uh, no, in the second one. In that trailer, everyone's complaining about the cultural Marxism in it. Really? Yeah, because they're all fools who are afraid of uh, the homosexual agenda. Oh my Here's what I would like to say. Yeah. Uh, oh, cultural Marxism? No, it's a Nazi term. <laughs> The Frankfurt School. Yes, the Frankfurt School is specifically, they called it culture, it, it, yeah, it's not great. No. It, it's not a good term, but we all use it on making fun of Nazis, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm all for that. I'm yeah. all for making fun of Nazis. Yeah, fuck Nazis. Yeah. I think we can all agree. Nazis I mean, is not great. That's one of the things that I love the most, like, about... Anyway, uh, so we are at the Just last temple, guys. Back at Woodfall. We are doing the first temple last. I tried, <laughs> I tried to do these all out of order, but like, I had to do Snowhead second. You tried to do these out of order? In theory, I could I could have done Snowhead like third, and like done Woodfall second. No, and like done um, what's it called? Stone Tower second. But I really didn't want to just because I wouldn't have fire arrows. So you're finishing Woodfall now. We are doing. Look, it's the stray fairy. Oh, you missed it. You missed the stray fairy. Yeah. It's okay. Are you gonna bomb jump up there? No. Yeah, don't shot. talk to straight. Oh, because you had the hookshot. Yeah, think. no, this is going to look very similar to the first time we were here. <laughs> oh, God. Bless you. Right, thank yeah, you. those are Good smart. morning. This is a really dumb thing, <laughs> because you have to hit the bottom of this, the fire thing over here, or else you're just going to oh, go straight over it. there's some wood right there. You're going to, yeah, you're going to go straight over it otherwise. You, you burned don't. yourself. Yeah, it's fine. I also swing the sword there because there's weird camera things that happen if you do weird shit in this game. Yeah, it's not fun. I see you getting the bombs ready. That means there's a glitch oh, coming up. Oh, yeah, there's a glitch coming up. I put that bomb down there because those moths will follow me into the abyss otherwise. And you don't want that. No. Nah. Anyway, if you do a jump and then uh, pull out the fins, <laughs> you, you just go through the wall. Great. Awesome. I love I love the amount that I am seeing this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really seeing the game's innards. And now we're just gonna hop backwards forever and use like every single bomb we have. Awesome. All right. So there is uh, there is a fast. I think there's a more bomb efficient way to do this, but it requires you going into the actual room that isn't loaded in, but we're jumping through currently. So how's everyone looking? Um, how's everyone? We've been watching this for about a, uh, two and a half. I've had a lot Listen, of soda. <laughs> <and> so <laughs> much RC cola. I'm still my first drink. You're gonna remain informative. <laughs> well, so, ben, would you like to uh, have just a little bit of kick in your kick in your kick? No, I will. Well, <laughs> kick in your kick. <laughs> kick in your I'd say I'm gonna chug this once this is done, and then chug another. Wait, do you have vodka in there? No. I mean RC cola in there? No, it's, I mean it's RC cola. No, it's I RC forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I know it's a cider, and I don't. The last time I drank was the last time I saw you guys, which was like two that months ago. That looks like ago. straight up orange juice. Is that what I had as a chase? Yes. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I use. Where are you? Uh, I clipped into the boss door and we were at Odala. Wait, should I have been- should I have yes. Don't even care. You- you don't want to give- <laughs> You've had- you've had basically four shots. No! It's fine, don't worry about it. This is cool. Uh, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> I used- Wait, oh, oh, okay, uh, Twin Mold? No, uh, this is Odala. We just did Twin Mold. We're gonna have to be completely silent during- Completely silent during my favorite boss. This is your favorite boss? Twin Mold. This is not Twin Mold! So if you throw a bomb at him, he will jump over here. And then you can hit him with an arrow, and then it can just do a good amount of uh, spin attacks. Hey, let's uh, be honest, guys. This boss is You can stun lock him, and he's done. This boss is so easy. He, he's done. You can stun lock him very well, easily. Well, there we go. All right, you bloodborne him. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I I, 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 I ate the, uh, the beast blood pellet, and then I just hit the boss twice and died. <laughs> bloodborne speedruns rule. Oh my god, I saw one not too long ago that was 20 minutes. The, I think the AGDQ one from like last year, th this last one that happened, that that guy was pretty cool, and that one in general was just really good. I just remember playing the game for the first time, and it took me maybe 
three hours to get through the first part, and then I saw a speedrun that was 20 minutes, whole game, and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> 20 minutes, whole game, done. I just hated it. it I mean, it I mean, was, I loved the game. But it was like, like that uh, one time I sent you the video of me beating Rom with the, the like, oh, the, like, the pins or whatever, and, yeah. like, I beat it one go, like, just one cycle. Call us, maybe. Uh, oh, shit. I think my favorite quote's in this cutscene. Without being told, we understand. So now, uh, well, no, I'm sorry, the top the clock. So, can you just tell us what it is, man? What? Oh, oh, there we go. Sound what sad. the voices sound sad when it's going. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 like, oh man. Why? I, why is this so much hopping? Oh, for the, forgive yeah. your friends. Because this is how talking works, right, guys? You. This is how talking works. So when you talk really slowly, right. you go. Or good yeah. Duh. yeah. Forgive, forgive our friend. friend. What do you mean by forgive our friend? Oh, uh, what friend? Huh? Well, we did all the bo- we did all the dungeons, so we could technically, right now, finish the game if we just skip to the last night. Oh, you and goodbye. We do, however, have like forty minutes left. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Because what else do you do? What, what do you do? We still have a, a bunch of masks to collect. <laughs> Get us that best end. You know? Yeah, we gotta so get the I'm interested in. I don't yeah. know if anyone else is, but I'm interested in the best ending. The best ending is so good. I'm w- I'm interested in the worst ending. If ben, you ask me. Uh, so I know you're playing this live for us right now. Guys, I got the milk request. Currently, controller in your Currently, hand. Currently, controller in his hand. He's really raunching it. Guys, ooh, we got the milk request. We're gonna drink that milk real you're soon. You're gonna drink that milk? Oh. Oh. Drink that sweet, drink that sweet, sweet milk. milk. That milk. sweet cow nectar. Yes. I'll say it. No one else is gonna say a cow nectar. That's you know what? what? You're stronger for saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a princess. It's nectar. Blew up the prettiest person lactose across is, the land. Lactose is a sugar, and nectar is sugar. So yeah, it's nectar. You're correct. Mm-hmm. Biologically, you've done it. Ah, so. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Listen. Why? Why do all the Deku like beings look so sad? Just their eyes. Don't. Do- if, uh, I told you, you skip through everything. If you can see it more than once, you just fucking. Just, it's just. Well, uh, quickly. So anyway, uh, we got. Look, I'm to, trying to. I'm so trying to give some guys, story for uh, our audience. Hot tidbit: Deku actually drinks things the fastest. How? It just drinks. It's got that big Why? Mouth it's because tube. It's, it's, look at it's just a hole. It's just a mouth just, tube. His, <laughs> his animation's the quickest. So we need to put the princess in a bottle. Obviously, this is the solution to so this problem. So all of you out there that are looking to do the fastest speed run, if you need to drink something, be a Deku. Be a Deku. Hey, so I'm interested. Uh, which uh, species do you think is the best sucking dick? That's the <laughs> I mean, look at that mouth. In the look at this. So the mouth is very no, circular. But look at that circum. Uh, like the, the. It also seems very the, rigid. The, which the, would be bad. Do you have a very the diameter is so. <laughs> the diameter on that hole is too big for any. It's like when. It's like Maybe the, for you. It's like the guys who fuck cars. Like there's, it would be the exact same thing. Wait! Okay. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Guys who fuck cars? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's just in, a, in an exhaust pipe. Is that a thing? No. Yes. You don't Why wanna, is that a thing? You don't want to fuck the car hot, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that concerned about whether or not the car is hot. This is a problem. Some guy did fuck a car and it did burn his penis so bad <laughs> that... Uh, Listen, we've all been there, okay? That, uh, it cool. was a reverse sounding situation in which he burned his penis hole shut and had to go to the doctor to get it opened back up. Spencer, to answer your question, I think Zora. You think Zora... So it's interesting. I mean, so slippery. So slippery. So it is. (laughs) No, I'd say Zora too, just because of how so slippy, how how moist it probably is. So moist, so moist and slippery. If you think about it, Zoras are technically amphibians because they can live on land and in the water. So uh, I think they would be like they would be a very like a a salamander texture. Really curious about the monkey though. Oh god. Well, we saved the monkey. Save the monkey? Yeah. Do we get a reward? Yeah. We can now, uh, we can now... What kind of reward? We can help, we can now help the butler try to relive... Wait, uh, we saved the monkey so we can help someone else? <laughs> what the hell? 
<laughs> we saved the monkey because it unlocks the ability. In order the ability to, to help somebody else. Like, we that's, we that's helped this guy relive his life before his son fucking died and we stole his body. Okay? <laughs> We're it's still as a, as that. We're stealing a lot of bodies in this game. Yeah, it's yes. a little. It's uh, it's uh, the Legend of Zelda and the Body Snatchers. Honestly, is really what I it really is. love the Ghost Link mask, whatever that one is with the purple hair. <laughs> trying to think, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it, it was just in the title menu. Ooh, look at this mustache. I'm gonna call you Mustache. What's up? <laughs> this is Please follow good. me. So, Woo! real speed runs would do this with the Goron, but I really didn't want to have to fucking deal with the Goron, so... You see, it's very complex to get to my home, but it's a living. Now, see, here's the thing. Okay, he is bringing us the reward for saving the princess. The reward? Yes. So we need to... Oh my god, wait, I love this part of the game where you have to chase a uh, freaking... Alfred down the hallway? <laughs> Alfred? <laughs> That's who he is. He's the butler. Yeah, Alfred the butler with, like, the, the umbrella flying. Oh, my God. Are you doing you're the not skip? following Alfred! The skip? <laughs> I've never done the skip. Um, so you're ahead of him now. Yes. Uh, I needed 40 rupees. And... Whoa, hello. Well, hello. <laughs> hello. It seems you already know where to go without no, guys, me, but it's fine. Guys, don't you see? I just got the 40 rupees I would need if I need to buy any more bombs. Look at you skipping on that water. It, was, it not only was more efficient... For the race itself, but just more efficient in general for speed. But we're looking at a speed run. Look, he's going the distance. He's going for speed. He's <laughs> all <laughs> alone <laughs> with <laughs> those deco <laughs> seeds. <laughs> if you have a Goron, you can dry, uh, run through this room fast enough that the firewalls don't come up. <laughs> if you just go like diagonally, right towards the door, they don't have enough time to come back. But. I'm a scrub and had to use. Uh, I'm not a scrub because I'm not in the deck of mouse currently. You but know, I'm Tish! But, you, um, you know, this pathway is very spooky. I don't really like it. It's, it's kind of creeping me out a bit. It's okay. It's, Him and his candelabra. That's not really. It's uh, just a candelabra. Like, it's after this room, it's done. Oh, well then. Y you, Bing! You don't have to hit that thing. Then why, then why did you? Um, because it's super hard and inconsistent to not to. I thought we were going for speed. Though. We are going for speed, but we're going for casual speed. Casual speed. <laughs> Look, I will. I will what, continue the, at so my pace. The total run of this is like three hours, right? Oh, you got the pig mask. Yeah, that's you have to get the set mask because it gives you his cutscene in the end. It has nothing to do with that besides that. Please forgive my rudeness. And here's me trying to get this stupid thing to load because I didn't realize I was standing on it. Welcome to the fire. Please stand right in it. <laughs> Where are you going now? What are you doing? We're just moving. It's just a quick way out. Oh. Well then. <sighs> anyway, yeah. No, uh, that that tree thing we saw at the beginning, that's his dead son. <laughs> and we also took his dead son body. That's why it was a race instead of just him leading us through that place. He was like, oh man, I remember racing through this place with my son. And it's like, oh, that's very sad. His son's dead, and we took his body. Ass wings away! So, we actually did a kindness by making him be able to relive one last time a foot race with his son. Yeah, you know. Except we only look like him for like If I now. ever die, the one thing that I would want to be brought back to life for would be to race. To run, you know? So, Ghost, Ghost Spencer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he wants to run. Everyone wants to run. Man, if I... If Who my... doesn't love a good run? You know? Yeah. I mean, everyone just wants to do a light Who does brisk. Like, I'll say brisk. Who does not love to get sweaty and gross and smelly and tired and in pain? That That's me. Mm -hmm. That's my life. And then yeah. afterwards, you sort of oh, feel hey, all right. Mask, you do it again. the mask face that you stole. <laughs> oh, we're back here now. Yeah, we're doing cafe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, like, everyone thinks it's not going to be super involved, but it's literally like, oh. you do one event, like two events on the first day, you do this, and you mail a letter, uh, and you show... And it is, so it is super involved because really you can talk to many, many people. Oh, yeah, but, like, the actual, like, that. core things you have to do, it's, like, it's two things you have to do, like, per day, and that's it. I really like the Abra mask that they were wearing. Like, it's, a, it's a Keaton mask? It's Pikachu. It's Pikachu! On, it's it's Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> no. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> it's it's Pikachu. Pikachu! Fuck! <laughs> It's based off the Kitsune from Japanese mythology. <laughs> Have you guys seen that meme? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's, just it's a good vine. It's very obviously oh, not it's a vine. Pikachu. 
Who here misses Vine? Raise your hands. Raise your hands? Yeah. We're all raising our hands. Everyone. Everyone is. All 100 of us. <laughs> and 100 people miss Vine. We just got we just got to show her the pendant, and then, yeah, that's it. That's all I mean, do. Now she's horny. Yeah, now she's like, oh, fuck. She's all wet, because she's like, oh, man. But he, then he comes in, and he's freaking five years old. And she's oh, like, oh, oh shit. She's all like, wet shit. for that Goron. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh. She's, like, very excited about the Goron, and not the yeah, fact that... that rocky penis. Not, not the fact that her fiancé, who went missing, is now confirmed not missing. Confirmed alive. Yeah. Yes. I've moved on. <laughs> <laughs> also, by showing her that pendant, she now doesn't escape town on the Whoop. third day. She will sit in her room, and if you fail anything in the uh, rest of the cafe, what's going on, kid? The rest of the cafe quest, she's gonna sit in that room while the moon fucking falls, being like, "He's gonna be here any minute." And you can just stop doing the quest now if you're the most heartless person of all time. Are you the most heartless person? Obviously not. Considering <laughs> you're so heartless. Obviously not, because I will reunite them before finishing the game. You just As walk in, right by the guy. Alright. No, yeah. Oh, right, because you're a Goron. That's if you're a Goron or a Zora, you never have to talk to them, because you're an adult. You're an adult! <laughs> if you're Link, the first time every cycle, you've got to talk to them, and they just won't let you out of your deck. Also, anymore. can I just say, I loved when I first... I just remember when I first became a Goron, and I could spin through the whole map. Like, that was just the greatest joke. Anyway, we've got to get back to uh, help Romani, not Romani, Creamia. Oh, you're at the, Ro you're at the rock! we got to get back in with, uh, we got to get in with uh, Romani's hotter older sister. Uh, oh my name? god! <laughs> her, name, her name's Creamia? This guy spent so long... Her name so is not long. Creamia. Yes, it is. Creamia. This guy spent so long chipping away at this rock, and you were just cheating right No, this guy rules. Goodbye. No, that guy's chill. That guy's really annoying because if you're too close while trying to do ISG, any any nice of the second day. Any oh here here's uh remember what I was saying? There's tricks that I learned how to do. Here's one. Here's one that I literally learned right before recording this. It's called the super slide. Oh my god. Ooh. Um, it's electric. It's oogie, like oogie, 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 oogie. it's like if you grab a bomb right if you grab something right as you take damage, you will. Sorry. You will take the recoil. You'll recoil backwards as if you're hit by the bomb, but it won't stop the momentum at all. Man, take me on my shirt, ride right to my brother Mario. So, in normal uh, progression of gameplay, you Wait, would. Where'd you get that mask? Uh, that's the one that we did for um, fucking jamming out in the bar after sneaking in. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. And technically, you're supposed to do this event. You have to get the mask that we get for doing this event before. You get that mask in normal play, but since we're flipping it, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna hang out for like the next five minutes not doing anything because we don't have to do anything until the end of the Say what other towns were Wait, so you don't shoot any arrows? You don't have to because uh the two got the the two um brothers won't won't attack you if you're wearing this mask. They won't attack the The two what? The Gorman brothers. The Super Smash brothers? The the Gorman bros won't come after us if uh, I wonder if, if you're wearing their brother's face, which you skinned off of him in a bar. Yeah, after you play. Also, this rules. Okay. Music. Spencer, this rules. This rules. Cause that guy's still there. Oh my god. That guy's still there. Oh, so you <laughs> just went, went through the rock. You went through the rock, and he's, That's he's just stuck on the. I love your face right now with that mask on. You're also crying, which is the and other he, thing. And you just push him. <laughs> and he starts hitting the air. Donkey, let's go. <laughs> we must get to the princess. What the hell accents are those? It's my... Donkey! It's my shark accent. Donkey! <laughs> do, 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 do. Donkey, get out of the swamp. It's my... Oh, it's my... Like, Shrek. Are you... If any person... There might be... Do you understand? Yes. No, but look... <laughs> no, no. Look, listen, after we protect all our milk, this babe is going to be so into us. Oh my right. god. So they don't do anything? Yeah. yeah they just no. gonna look at you. They never approach you. You can shoot them. I love your milk. Please, can we have some? No, you can have arrows instead. <laughs> like I was telling Dan, because you, you have to do this every single cycle, you want the Chateau Romani. So by having this mask, it just means that you don't put as much effort into it. So they're, they're just gonna hang back. Yeah. Mostly be an escort for you. Essentially. They, they kind of look like that, like, yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna oh, hey, hey, moon. We're gonna peep at the moon because we don't need to give a shit about these guys. 
It moon, is. Moon, moon, moon. I think if you moon, don't have moon, the mask, moon, moon, moon. if you don't have the mask, it's one thing. After they charge, each of them charges like three times. <laughs> they have their own whip billboards. No, yeah, but <laughs> they they literally rerouted the the route through their through their like farm just to do this thing, and it's like it's very obvious that they're wearing masks. But who else could it be besides the two angry boys over here? Just an angry boy. Angry boys and donkey. And donkey. <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? Donkey, you're getting our milk where it needs to be. Listen. Here, have this donkey mask. She just gave us a fake ID because she thinks that we're pretty adult. So I think I think we can hit that. Adult enough for you. <laughs> we'll definitely be able to hit Creamia in a couple of years. I'm just saying. I mean, in a few years, Creamia. When you're 18, you can go to Creamia. <laughs> God. <laughs> Listen, th this is Ocarina of Time Link, so like he's been 17 for a bit. He's like, been 17 and 11, experience. and then 17 again, and then 11 again, and you know, it's, oh, it's all 10, over thank you, because it's seven years. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's the end of the second day. We're just gonna skip the rest of it. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if it's my controller or just how this game works, but. Uh, Song of Double Time fucking sucks to play really quickly. Just having to tap the button twice half the time, it doesn't register the second hit. And then he fucked up the song and have to. Dawn of the final day, you will see. We are. We're... John Cena! <laughs> anyway. John Cena! Oh, that's a meme from six months ago. Yeah, Guys, the John Cena meme, it's coming back. It's uh, by now. I don't know I, if I you noticed, so. but we are going to the night of the third day. <laughs> we are. Third day? Takes about half as long as the second day, which like takes half as long as the first day. Night of the final day. That's just an estimate, but uh, yeah. That moon is coming. That moon is imminent. It, it is gonna hit. We're gonna get fucking hit by the moon. Whoa, did you see my new pants? I like them. <laughs> Here, have this mask. It is a. <laughs> it is an Abra mask. It's it can be like an Abra. Abra. It looks like an Abra. It's freaking Abra. It's freaking Pikachu, dude. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? Also, it's wild how many masks you get in the uh, best ending. Ben, you've only been playing this, what, two and a half hours? Something like that. And you've already gotten, like, so many masks. Oh my god. I know you're not going for all of them, but, like, Jesus. All masks isn't much different, honestly. It's just that a lot of the waiting times, I think you might have to do another cycle, or you'd be more efficient with that first cycle that we did. Okay. But, like, other than that, like... So in this playthrough, you have not hit a single owl. Not. I, mean, wow. I hit that first one, that's the fake one. And that's it. That is... That really, really makes a difference. <laughs> it does? I mean, it doesn't really do anything. Also, um, what I'm, I'm going to do a clip that's completely unnecessary because he's right oh, there. Oh, a thief. But you can clip into this very easily. And my favorite, uh, my favorite speedrunning video online is um, of this clip. In which it takes them like four minutes to do the clip I just did very easily, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my god, the hideout! Wait, so you're in the hideout now before yeah, he came? Right here. But if you do all the events prior, you can come in here at any time, I think, or at least after six o'clock. Even though he doesn't get in here until like seven, seven thirty. So I so he's not here right now. Or? I technically did skip some time. Because I didn't watch the cutscene of him entering and then... Now I've done it. Oh, but good. it does skip to 7.30. Good yes. job, you stupid. Um, you stepped on the obvious platform. You can skip this whole cutscene, but it's impo it's basically impossible in Wii U because it requires, like, brain-perfect um, pause buff brain. What, what, what's going on here? So, this is just... Basically, oh, it's the lion mask. We gotta get that mask back because that's part of, like, the wedding ceremony, but the thief stole it. And he tried to sell it at the used bookstore that was right behind Cafe's house. But like, if if you stopped him from stealing the bomb bag, he wouldn't try to sell this mask so Cafe would never know where to get the mask. Which is why your bomb mask and this can't be done in the same cycle. Anyway, we're gonna flip up onto this conveyor belt. Yeah, because I do not remember this. Guys, guys, this is the last uh, bomb hover we're gonna do in this entire game. Oh really? god, this is it! Well then, there it is. Well, it's it, that's it. And now we're on Stop. this. And just to do things fast, we're gonna do a uh, quick old super slide down this entire conveyor belt. 
Get right in front of that bomb. Because fuck Woo! doing all these puzzles, and now we're just gonna flip over and hit the button. And oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's that. A little sidestep. Da-na-na-na. So yeah, this could be done slightly faster if I did was able to do the cutscene skip. Hey kids, you want to play a game with a lot of puzzles? Well, here's a way to avoid every single one of them. You, If you were able to skip that cutscene, you wouldn't have to do that first uh, puzzle that uh, Cafe did, which is to say, push exactly one block. And you, you, uh, Link would just enter that room by doing like a recoil flip How off the How is it that you have Cafe's mask or face when Cafe's I- alive? No, it's not a face. It's it, it. I mean, it looks like a face. It doesn't have any eyes. It's literally just. That doesn't a, make it not a face. In in game, it's a, the like the her, his mom made a bunch of masks for people looking for cafe, just because it was easier to be like, have you seen this guy? And you put on the mask. <laughs> so you get his face. You know, when I lose a when I lose a child, I make a bunch of masks. So that way everyone can wear them and I cannot figure out who is the actual child. When I lose my child, <laughs> it, it, it's... Whoa, why are you being timed? Uh, because during the last ah! six hours, there's a countdown. We are currently in the last six hours. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, my God! Let me just get over to this door. <laughs> we need the postman's hat, so I, I have to give him the... Uh... Let me just slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> He was having an existential crisis about not being able to deliver stuff, so I gave him a thing to deliver. And now I'm, because we have to wait for him to get to East Clocktown, I'm just gonna run out here real quick to get to East Clocktown to meet him in order to just refill on everything <laughs> before the last boss fight. Perfect. We are currently in an in game time segment, so all I can do really. Oh my god. All I, I mean, some of that is also credits, by the way. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, like, all right now I can do really is just minimize the amount of loading screens and text boxes that I have to scroll through. Well, I'll leave you friends alone no, no. with our... There he is. Today. It's fine. I'm just, right now I'm just going to do a bunch of flips while waiting for this guy to leave the bar. Before we get to our climax moment. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. Look how fucking close that moon is, though, boys. Also, the Goron flips are worthless. Have you ever have you ever backflipped with the Goron? No. Look how like oh my god, they're worthless. So large. Um, I know in like a hundred percent run right now, this would probably be when they go and get the Elegy of Emptiness. Oh, true. I think they do most of Iconic Canyon outside of like Stone Tower at this point. Because if you're an inverted, you have like twelve minutes. Right. Like, there's so many things you can do. Is it this hat? Yeah, it's this hat and then the couple's mask, and I think that's it. I can't believe we're almost fucking done with this. Holy shit. Has this felt like three hours? Because it hasn't to me. It hasn't to me. Oh, man, I can't believe we're going to start our new streaming uh, careers with this pre-recorded game that I play very, like, adequately. Also, Cafe doesn't show up until, like, Cafe shows up at, like, 4.30. Oh, okay, well, I'm sorry. It's fine. We got All the... that RC Cola, it goes right through you. Yeah. Right now, we just gotta wait for Cafe, because he doesn't show up for, like, another two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna hang out in this room with Andrew. But this is it. This is the climax. No, yeah, this is the last mask we gotta grab. Then... I feel like I've been cheated. Why? I've been robbed. Well, because of a Ben's game. been cheating. Oh, yes. Fine. I feel like I've been robbed of a game that has meant so much to me. When, you played when... half of it. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just saying that, like, have you ever stood in this room and just done flips off a table? Because... No. I guess you know what you're right. I've missed a lot of this gaming experience with what you're doing. Because right this tiny <laughs> child has to run across. All of Termina in order to get to his. I just realized you never became adult Link in this. You don't. No. I mean, you technically do if you take first deity, but that's more. You're taking on like just a first deity. You're just a little boy throughout this whole thing. No, yeah, this one. That's even more why I love Young Link over Adult Link, just because all of Majora's Mask is just Link, this child. Yo, Adult Link is such a fuckboy, I don't like him. <laughs> adult Link is a fuckboy, thank you for saying it. I yeah. feel like no one's said it yet. Nah, no. he's a cuck. Adult <laughs> Link, he's a cuck! 
Straight up, straight up. Luck. <laughs> He's luck. <laughs> Do you think um, he and Zelda ever banged? Obviously not. Obviously not. Link is a yeah. cop. Come oh yeah. That, as, soon as, as, for as soon as the fog starts flickering, you know for some reason that uh, Cafe's coming. Oh, Cafe's here. Cafe brings that fog. Him entering Cafe Babe. Him entering Stockpot in for some reason causes the fog to flicker, and I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, in the Majora's Mask manga, um, in the Majora's Mask manga, the Deku the the Deku cycle has its own volume. I don't know. Each one of the dungeons has its own volume, and then Cafe Anju has its own volume. And Aww, so wholesome, so sweet. So like the Cafe Cafe Anju quest is one volume in the manga. Let us. So now they fuse their terrifying Here's your masks. fucking mask. Take it. And we get the last mask. Oh god, it's a there Slenderman it mask. Yep. This is the last mask that we need. We haven't... You are... We got it. <laughs> it's filled with love. We got a mask that's filled with love. And basically what you do with this mask is uh, you would reset the cycle and then you go to some arguing dudes and you wear the mask and they make, ah oh, shit. We got more things to worry about. Then they start arguing, and they give you a hard piece, and that's the only reason you would do that. Really? Yep. You know, I hated your guts, but this kid wearing this Slenderman mask here has made me really love you now. Let's yeah. let's put aside our differences. So, uh, with a minute twelve left, we are going to be heading up into. Uh, oh shit! We are confronting Majora for the second and last time. We're, we're facing off against that Skulkin. Yeah, but this time. This time, we've got some huge naked tattles! Tail! We got some naked. Stupid fairy! We got some huge naked lads who are gonna help us out. Naked lads. The yeah. best warriors. <laughs> what? That was the box. I see. Yeah. Just look above you. It's the moon, can you not see it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So look at that nose! <laughs> what the fuck? They didn't fix it for, uh,. They didn't fix it up for Ocarina of Time, but they did for the English release of this, where um, Skull Kid used to have just a pure black face, <laughs> and he did an Ocarina of Time, and he does in the Japanese version of this. But oh, they gave him a wood, they, they gave him a wooden texture for his face. This time. And it's kind of wow, like, he is really it's kind of like, out right now. Like, it's such a part of it. It is the uh, all the giants waking up. Yeah, but is that what it's supposed to look like? Yes, it's supposed oh, to look like shaking. That, that's not that great, but okay. It's the Giants. It's In concept, happens. it works. I guess. Uh, but, uh, so Skull Kid kind of had the, uh, the Jinx thing and the Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z thing, <laughs> where they are in, they are what Japan likes to draw black people as, which is, like, you know, like the minstrel face. Just you know, like, problematic. Yeah. Extremely <laughs> problematic. You know, the, the terrible way of doing things. So, in Gen 1, Jinx still had a like pure black face and for the uh I'm talking about Pokemon now by the way mm -hmm. for the Gen 1 like re-release on the booty on the virtual console or yellow because yellow has Game Boy color functionality in which like colors change and sprites have more than just are more than just gray guys can I just say real quick those giants quite a thigh gap oh, those giants are thin that, those, those are skinny boys. The yes. Goals, by the way. Goals. Honestly, look at these. These are absolutely. Look at units. look at these boys. Look at how. Look at just the the form. These these boys. Just Listen, their so head. Hot. Their their head is their body. Yes. But who are we to judge? No, they are giants. They'll kill you. They're <laughs> just they They're murder. exactly how like four year olds drew people. You know, I feel like you head. only went to the giant world like two times, but there are four here. No, we went four. There's we, one was after it four. It was just so fast. We couldn't keep track. It was one after every one. It's just that like outside of the first and last one, it's just kind of like, oh, we're acquiescing more information about these giants as uh, they be gone, foul moon. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna hold this shit up. And so you want to know what's good. terrifying? What's more terrifying? The, the, this moon that's about to smash on the centerpiece of this land, or the four huge naked men that appear huge in the naked land. heads with arms and legs. I mean, <laughs> if I saw that, I'd be like, just send the moon. <laughs> I would like the moon, please. I'll take the moon, Regis. <laughs> <laughs> 
This moon's fucking huge, by the way. It is. I love the moon. Moon is my favorite character. Moon? The moon? Wait, when you think about it, though, the moon is pretty small. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, in terms of everything, yeah. Yeah, but look how close it gets. Good, we made it in time, Giant Skull. Hey, Skull Kid, do you realize what you've been... Listen. Wait, sis, don't... You don't can't skip these text boxes. Look how slow they're going. Aren't you so... Hey, he was lonely. This... He was trying to destroy everything about him, and that is not the way. The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much. The power of the mask. No, the power see, of the mask. <laughs> here, here's the, uh... Certainly have too many weaknesses. Yeah, oh, here's the big twist. <gasps> My dead body. It won't die. A puppet that can no I longer can't be used over the moon. as near It will fall in a couple hours. Poor Skull Can. Am I right? Like, I mean, he didn't ask for this. Maybe he asked for this. I don't know the story. You didn't understand what that <laughs> I... That I... The, what I would do to get the job done. <laughs> that's a hor- I horribly mangled that quote, but like, that's what it is right now. I shall consume, consume all of the Taco Bell. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. Oh, God, it's too much for the Giants. This, they're not strong enough. No, they're not, not enough. enough. No, we're gonna go, we're gonna go in. This is it. Oh no, you've got to be kidding me, don't... I won't do it. You go by your... I'll... Tail's gonna go. What? What are you saying, Tail? Ah. I don't always want... If only I had been stuck. <laughs> the back and forth. It's, it's, it's really awesome, awesome that Link has basically no character, so the fairy in each game has to be the character. Yeah, they have but, to like, represent Link right Navi now. does absolutely nothing, but Tattle is like... One of the most. I thought it was ex- Tail, not Navi. It's, it's Tattle. Navi's the the fairy from Ocarina of Time. We are on the moon, by the way. Oh. Here it's we are on the moon. Look at it, it's the moon. Yeah, it's the moon. And now we're gonna be. You've won a free trip to. Here's all these. The, the moon. moon. Here's all these kids who have the same haircut as the happy mask salesman wearing the boss masks. Oh. And there's this one kid. He's on. He's under the thing. And he's like, "Want to play?" Oh, he's got he's got the mask on. And uh, anyway, we are in uh we are fighting Majora's mask. Wait, you can wear Majora's mask in Breath of the Wild, right? Yes, because I've done that. How? What does it do? Um, it just it it makes it so you have to get closer to enemies before they attack you. That's it. Oh, well then, okay. It, it's that's just kind of a passive bonus that I didn't even know existed until I looked it up. Oh, all the masks, George. Where did George go? George. It you was, got rid of George mask. It, I think it goes Odawa, George, uh, go Twin Mold for some reason. Majora! Majora! Major. So, basically everything goes Majora! 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 So, yeah, you, you, you hit him with the fins, and then you hit him with a light arrow, and then you move over slightly so he doesn't get stuck in the wall, and you hit him with the fins, and then you hit him with an arrow. And that's how you beat Majora's mask. Well, okay. And wait, okay. you're just gonna beat him right now. Um, you hit him in twice. Like two seconds. You hit him twice, and then all the boss masks come off the wall, and then you hit him two more times. <laughs> what do the boss masks do? Uh, they occasionally shoot an uh, a unit, or like a, a ten ball. Well, they're doing a great job right now at it. Yeah, they kind of just float around for the most part. Uh, they kind of just fuck up much later when you're stun locking one of your bosses. And that's no, it. That's really. not it, dude. Have you ever played this video game? I have. It's been a while. <laughs> Don't point out my shortcomings. Got legs now. Ew. Who's got? Who's got legs? Oh, ew. He's like a cardio from Adventure Time. <laughs> nah, he's Major- Majora's incarnation. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're just gonna ignore Majora's incarnation for a bit and get rid of these fucking. Beasts. Boss masks because they will just fuck you up. Oh like, my god! It is the motion blur boss fight. Yeah. <laughs> and like this, this guy fucking rocks. The the music's insane. He shoots a million high blasts at you, key blasts, and then like um, nothing can beat that Zora. All the masks are here. All uh, all our good friends. We just accidentally hit him while he was doing. Uh, and you knocked him. I over. say him. I think actually the girl is a her. Yeah. I, I'm not, I've been, Why is it gotta be a guy? I think Majora <laughs> might be a lady, that's true. 
I think it is a her. But anyway, they were doing um, they were doing a move lock when we actually hit them there. Also, each of these bosses takes three hits. Each of these masks. Yeah. So that guy's done. So we're just gonna pull out. Whale, whale, whale. Wow, what an intimidating enemy flailing on the floor right now. <laughs> so, here's the thing about the Goron ground pound here. Uh, it does damage to Majora when she's down, but then also when she's up, the stun, like the little shockwave will knock her over, so you can, so you can just keep doing it. You can stun lock Majora's incarnation like this. Great. That's crazy. What a tough fight, everyone. It's okay. But this is all good and helpful this, tips this, for this, you, this all of our friends out there. This wasn't even her final form. Majora's. <gasps> the final form. It's Majora's grab. Majora's great. See, there is a way to stun lock Majora's Wrath, but it's much easier to just do it like this. You shoot an arrow, and then you can just hit him a bunch. Um, it doesn't actually matter if it's light arrows, as long as your little icon up there is light arrows. Even if you're out of magic, they still just dodge every other projectile except light arrows. But, like, you don't need magic, as long as it's equipped as so a light arrow. So this is still stun. Yes, it still is the stun, as you can see. Wow. And, yeah, so, it's fine. It's kind of annoying because for whatever reason you're locked onto her head instead of her body. This so is like this is the final boss, and I've seen nothing but flailing and like oh you hit me. Um, if she can actually get off the attack, she'll hit you like three times in a row and then grab you from across the map and then throw you into a wall and catch you and throw you again. So like it is basically imperative that you uh you get on this. Yeah. You do not fuck up. <laughs> How much also, does that take down? With, oh. with the normal Kokiri sword, it takes about 40 hits. Well, there we go. Anyway, yeah, that's the game. <laughs> Literally, now it's just a bunch of cutscenes and then the credits. <laughs> like, that last input was that last spin attack I did. Like, oh, well, then. So I good. think, I'm pretty sure timing stops either when I do that last hit or when it fades out right here. I'm not entirely sure. So, so my actual run is closer to about 250. Which is about how fast glitchless, uh, glitchless, uh, any percent is. Like, the fastest one is about, like, 54 or something like I that. I shouldn't be here. I should be in space. I didn't actually time it out, is what I'm saying. So it's about somewhere in there. I'll put it in, like, the description. Okay, now the moon goes on. Yeah, we killed Majora, so the moon's gone. We did it. We did Majora. Oh, we, uh, we helped! No, they all evacuated. Ah. And now, uh, gay pride, everyone. Hey, I'm all for that. Yes! Except the rainbow's yes. upside down. Yes! Yes! The, the, the rainbow's ah. Violet's on top of this rainbow. <laughs> just another fucked up thing in Termina. God, they are very much just muscle and no skin. It looks like that one has a dick. Does that one have a dick? Nah, it's just the, it's just the beard showing through. It looks like a dick. Dawn of a Dawn new, day. new day! Hey! Guys, remember uh, December 21st, 2012, when we were all going to die, and I thought it was really funny to post the day before just a screenshot of Dawn of the Third Day, 24 Hours Remain, on Facebook? Hey, oh, man, can yeah. I say something? That was funny. I was hilarious. Hilarious. Aw, look at these guys with their weird so chest basically, faces. The, the big story is that... Uh, my ears are my arms. These guys were Skull Kid's friends, but then they had to disappear, and he felt really bad because he thought they abandoned him, but they just needed to, you know... Aww. They needed to go into the temples. You guys haven't forgotten about me. No, they didn't. You That's still what, thought of me as a... As a friend. Like, that was the whole... As a friend! All the bullshit about them solely telling us that, like, forgive our friend, they were talking about Skull Kid. They knew that the mask was the baddie. And not Skull Kid. Well, where are they going Skull, now? He's just, a, he's just a kid. They're going, they're going back to the temples. I'm so ashamed of myself. They, they saved Termina, now they're just going to step on oh everyone. Oh my god. Here's the thing, my problem with this game is I really wish the monsters, the giants, excuse me, the giants were a little more thick. A little more thick. You want, I would want the, I would I want want some the giants thick to boys. be thick. I would like some I, thick I would boys. like some thick giants, and I want them to have photorealistic penises. I <laughs> <laughs> just dangling. <laughs> that one <got> they <laughs> need to have full physics, and every step they take, they just just swoosh. Well, I'm sorry I stole your flute. Could you forgive me? He's a good boy now. See, I thought they didn't want to be, but they hadn't forgotten. They didn't forget about him. Friends are nice things to. Ha 
That's right. <laughs> Frozen Feathers. Guys, guys, <laughs> let me tell you something. You know what the theme of this game is? What? Friendship. Majora's Mask was the friends that we found along the way. <laughs> <laughs> the real Majora's Mask was the friends that we found along the way. It's <laughs> so good. So the evil has left the mask after all. Mm -hmm. Well, it's useless to me now. <laughs> well, now I found it down. God, I hate this guy. It literally he literally just is, moves. It is hard cuts. Like no one, nobody else moves like that. Thing. This is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> There's giant naked people. We had to fight two, not not one, but two giant worms. This guy has a bag. Like he's got a bag. All the most terrifying parts of uh, what an adventure. I mean, he at least shaved his really shitty, like, chin beard from the first game. I've always been curious about those other masks that he carries and what they do. One's a Mario one, one's a Ninja Turtle, and, um, <laughs> There is definitely a Ninja Turtle on that one. Yeah. There, there's a couple of the masks from Ocarina that you... One of the masks is the face that you see on the reflecting shield. The yes. mirror shield, yes, which is interesting. Oh man, the mirror shield, I love the mirror shield, but you can't, I just, I couldn't fit it in. Not for the perfect run. Not, yeah. not for this, this flawless... One hundred percent. This flawless two-hour fifty minute world run. record. Yes, yeah. uh, I know. I'm pretty sure the world record is closer to uh, the any percent run, which is probably around two hours. And you were playing this completely real time. You have a controller. You're doing yeah. all this right now. You hear this yeah. click clacking that I haven't added in post? <laughs> it's that's me. Perfect. And Perfect. And they fucking they're... credits, buddy. All right. Also the Ooh, more fireworks. I love it. Well, that was Majora's Mask. That was Majora's Mask, the greatest game ever made. Produced by Shigeru Miyamoto. Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, love that man. Love him. Uh, Numa. What is that? Me. What is the? What is that clickbait quote? Where he was talking about how porn games tell him not to come, but that's really bad game design because yeah. everything in the game makes you want to come. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the quote from Click Hole. Whoa, look at the band. Yeah. Get back together. Also, by the way, Debbie just hit the I heard this wow. is the best ending. This is... Oh, look, we're playing. Oh, hey, check out that guy. I love like, the bass guy. Here we are. That's that's us. We, we stuck around in order to hang around for the festival. Wait, so is that you playing with Yeah. <laughs> you took the cow's place because you haven't had the guts to tell... Show us the audience. That There's he's probably like dead. five people there. <laughs> So beautiful. See, back when I when I played this the first time, these types of graphics, I was like, "Whoa, Honestly, that's so crazy!" This does look really good for for its today. time. For its time, it was amazing. This looks even better than Ocarina of Time. Yeah, like everything has depth now and isn't just solid colors. Mm -hmm. Well, you were telling me how they they fixed a lot of things. When they no, yeah. If you look at Young Link in this game and Young Link in Ocarina of Time, they like look completely different, and Majora's Mask is obviously so much better. Just there's oh, wrinkles man. in his clothes, like the colors are just darker, That's like just, his hair Just look at all of these places that we, that we his didn't hair. explore, <laughs> that we just cut right through. Look at, these look at all these places we never went to in the video game. Look at these boys. Who are they? Oh, man. Nobody knows them. Our old friends that we just completely side sidestepped. <laughs> Our old friends, the Skull Heads. And here's uh. And I'm dancing Deku King. <laughs> we saved the princess, which for some reason they decided to blame her disappearance on a monkey. Cause you know, politics. <laughs> yes, this is an allegory for racism. I mean, it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be rude. Abolish no, ice. To, hey, listen, everyone. I'm trying really hard not to be rude, but it's an allegory back. for racism. Hey, can I just say something? Sure, sure, sure. sure. Guys, I have a question. <laughs> I have a question. Did, do you guys think, let's do a poll, did Majora's Mask do racism allegories better than Detroit the Commune? I've never Here's something that. I'd like to say. Dan hasn't played Majora's Mask in a long time, and I've never played Detroit, colon, become human. But, given, uh, but given Oh, this, look at these sexy ladies. Ooh, ooh, uh, there's so many of them. Seven some. <laughs> there are five of them. There are five of them. Well, because I can't <laughs> <play> more. <laughs> Uh, ben, I would agree with you, based on the, uh, oh, there's response the towards the Deku. Look at her. Uh, Look at how good she is at shooting that bow. Look how happy she is I, at Ooh, her. that hair flip! I did it! Girl, you got it! I don't know. It's so wholesome. 
so friendly and nice. And this is the bomb. You get the you get the bomb mask and you get this cutscene. Wow, you this feels like a different game to me because you just cut through so many things and just like I don't know, it feels like it's a DLC of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Check this dude out. He's so happy now. He's uh, got all his little chickens. I He's got, got all his cucks. I got all my cucks here. All my cucks in a row. I all call my them cucks. Grown cucks. Not because chickens make a cuck noise, because they're called cuckoos. I understand, Ben. I understand your reference. You don't have to explain We're it. not being dirty. <laughs> they're cuckolds. Wham. My bar is now full. <laughs> Wham. <laughs> What do you mean you people? What do you mean by that? Here's all these people that we did not interact with over the entire game. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> 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 they're all like, we love Link! <laughs> da, 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 da. He's happy wow. with people are sweet. Wow. I did not realize the game could be done this way. I've never seen a uh, complete speedrun like this. It's, it's impressive. impressive. It's impressive. Like, there are some that are more impressive. Ooh. I'm still getting over the fact that I died and came back to life. That guy, see? That cutscene's in there, and I don't know if you have to get the Game of Mask, which is why I got it. So you got it just in case? Yeah, because, like, one place said that you needed it, and I didn't want to have to go through the entire game and then get it. You know, not my it. My one regret, though, that I have is seeing the uh, copy of Link when you get the eulogy. Wait, hey, is, uh, is Dark Link in is this creepy. one? Yeah. Fierce Shadow Link. Link. There is no shadow. Link. There's no shadow link in this one. He's in the water temple of the yeah. Ocarina of Time. Well, then he is the mid boss in the water temple, which is another black mark on that temple. Look at the tinkle. <laughs> what is a great yeah. boss? <laughs> Litter. <laughs> I'm sorry that we didn't interact with Tingle at all in this game. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I mean, I, we walked by him a few times. Here's the sad part. He found his dead <laughs> son. I love my dead gay son. <laughs> He's also gay, canonically. <laughs> canonically gay. Spencer said it. It happens. <laughs> it's true. That's a uh, Heather's the musical reference, folks. Uh oh. There's a song in Heather's called "I Love My Dead." I have a question. Gay son. Yes. What up? Who else thinks that Link could hit the back walls? Uh, a question. Yes, please clarify exactly what you mean by who I'm else like, thinks that Link could hit the back wall. I'm I'm pretty sure that's a sex thing. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. It's not entirely sure. It's, it's always a sex used, thing. It's always used in the context of a person being very sexually appealing. You're saying if someone was like, "You're a back wall," it's like, at yeah, me. They're, they're talking that's about a the <laughs> They're talking about a service. Hey Dan, can I tell you something? They're talking about you look the, like a real back wall. Well, you know what? You look like a real right wall. Guys, this this is about to end, so we should say goodbye before we talk more about service biz. Hi everyone. Uh, I think my name is Spencer, like and this is, these are my friends Dan and Ben. <laughs> and thank you for watching thank Legend you for of Zelda: The Minish Cap. Our shitty let's play. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the the end. We did it. Well, it's been real. Okay, bye everyone. <laughs> I already cut it off by now.